ready. I'm ready to, I'm ready to finish this game. But uh, even though I actually have it on the screen right now, I actually first have to start off with um with 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 a couple scheduling stuff. My schedule changes with the tide. So here we are again. Um okay, so probably await an official Discord announcement for the party games, but uh uh but it most likely uh I'll actually probably do it on Sunday. Uh yeah, I'm probably going to be that's that's probably the first big scheduling thing. Uh I will actually be going through the weekend this time uh all the way to wednesday so you're gonna be getting a lot of streams in a row <laughs> enjoy that uh i think i already in my mind know what we're gonna be doing at least monday to wednesday and of course on sunday we'll um games uh but but yeah seems like it seems like that's that's about where it's about where where we're headed Mo this is mostly just because uh looking at my schedule uh again as uh as as august quickly approaches I realized that uh, that almost by necessity, I I really can't stream for for a few days, at least a couple days around like my mom's birthday and that whole thing. Um, so there'll be like a, a couple days from the fourth to like the eighth, where I definitely won't be able to stream, and then we'll see about the ninth and the tenth. We'll see, we'll see. No promises, but uh, it's just looking like I'll you know I'll probably be unavailable for a couple days and. Uh, you know, extra streams just because at this point I feel bad for taking uh, two kind of extended breaks back to... It's been a lot of breaks recently. <laughs> I want to actually give you guys content. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, no, no break this weekend. We're going straight on through because I have to be away for a little bit. Uh, I will give this announcement again uh, just in case more of you guys come along. And of course, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be giving Discord as well as Twitter. You for now, though, we'll just start up the game. I'm ready to finish this thing. Let's see. Let's see. You guys are beginning. But just because I was checking. House farm. We have a little epilogue. There. Well, guess I could go take a picture of that church. Hello, Mozzie. Hello, Mozzie. Um, oh gosh, immediately with lobster meat. Um, I, I, ma I made a slight stream announcement a bit, uh, a, a little bit ago. I will, I will make, I will make it again before the stream ends. Lobster! As well as, as well as, uh, uh give it on Discord. Hang, hang tight, hang tight. All good things, all good things. I think, I think I have a day scheduled for a party game that I'm hoping will work well. Uh... Nope. Hasn't the city of Boston ever sued you or anything? Lobster! If the city ever tried to sue me, I'd vote all those city councilors out of office. Show them how scary elections can be. Oh, by the way, whenever I have to do his voice, I have to... My hand instinctually goes into that, like, Italian, like, hand. You know the one I'm talking about. The meme, the meme. I have to do it. It's where the, the voice lies in the hand. You can't see it, but... <laughs> Is that how democracy works in Boston? Must be a pretty scary place to live. Damn straight. We don't pull our punches up in Boston. The whole truth and nothing but the friggin' truth, chowder head. Boston doesn't tolerate people like you who go around spreading fake news all the time. <laughs> what, what? Hey, wait a minute. That report was... That? The truth? You really gonna stand here and say that to my face? <sighs> the... This is why I can't friggin' stand New Yorkers. You lack conviction. Someone might die due to the articles you write, you know? You ever think of that, yuppie? Shut up. You just stick your nose wherever it doesn't belong without preparing yourself for what might happen. And when it comes to when it comes time to stand up and do something, you turn your little tail and run right out the door. 
Go on, write your little global innovative story like all the rest of those New York losers. Damn you! Screw you, at least I'm actually getting results, unlike all the other useless journalists out there. I'd rather actually write something than sit around and let people treat me like royalty all day. <laughs> hey now, every journalist gets writer's block. That's what it means to be a real journal journalist, yuppie. See ya. You just focus on keeping those deadlines of yours. Productivity's got all you got to count on, right? Lobster! Hate to see him leave, but love to watch him go. God damn! I don't hellhole. believe this crap. He should be getting the ultimate asshole journalist award, not more jobs. I've never met someone who's been able to insult me by com complimenting me for keeping my deadlines. Yeah, that's actually impressive. Oh, looks like some of the some of the people are like the witch, for example. They're still out and about. I can actually. Well. I assumed it was midnight, so I wouldn't be able to get any of this done. But looks like some of it's open. Some of these guys are open past midnight, I guess. Sorry, sheep. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Other way, other way. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There you go. <laughs> Things are still very difficult. Okay, uh, this is actually, ooh. Ooh, I just triggered like a core memory in me and now I have to say it as per Twitch law. Um, so I've really dis distinct memories of, um, so I, I used to, down in hell, I used to live in a bit of, a, I used to live in a bit of a farmer's town. Um, uh, hey. uh, shut up game, I'm gonna finish my story. I used to live in a bit of a farmer's town. Um, a lot of dairy, mostly, a lot of cows, uh, and, and a lot of farms once you drove out, uh, far enough from, like, the main town hubs. Um, one of those things where a lot of field trips involved involved uh, involved a lot of a lot of different stuff. I was somehow roped into being an FFA in my freshman year. That kind of that kind of town. That kind of town. Um, and uh, I have really distinct memories of, uh, of 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 a, of a friend of mine in in middle school specifically inviting me to go horseback riding. She, 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 her, her, her fam, like, not like, oh, fancy, no, there, there was like a barn out, out, out by town. They had some horses. She had like a cousin or something. I don't know. <laughs> they had some horses back there. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing fancy, but they, but they had some horses that, that, that they, 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 they let you ride. And, um, I remember specifically, uh, the lady there making fun of me. For, for for complaining for specifically saying the words complaining that I, I didn't know how to how to drive the horse <laughs> she like she like laughed at me in a way that like you know, not like in a not in like a mean way in like a way you laugh at a weird thing that it, that it, that, it, that an eight-year-old says to you <laughs> and it was just, eight year old I don't remember I don't remember how old I was when this happened middle school eight years eight years old it's all the same right? <laughs> But uh, it's just like a very specific memory that I think I look back on fondly, but at the same time, I, it still causes that secondhand cringe of like, oh no, that's not what you're supposed to say. I guess I was always kind of self-conscious like that. <laughs> Yo, witchy woman, you look uh, uh, as unique as always. Huh? Oh, perfect timing, sweetheart. There have been some developments, big ones. Relax, granny, what's wrong? It's pretty substantial. The whole world will never be the same again. Wait, what? Just calm down and walk me through it. You expect me to calm down at a time like this? Once you hear what's happened, you'll tear your hair out. You probably don't know this, but there's a royal tomb right deep in the forest at the edge of town. And guess what? A huge weird light went shooting out from it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I was there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you thought too, eh? Well, so bright and flashy, how could you miss it? That light went flashing through the sky. All sorts of ideas started rushing into my head. Delicate, daring ideas, unlike any thoughts I'd ever thought before, sweetheart. 
eat. Like a blend of soft, rich coffee beans. They were ideas to end all ideas. Uh... Meaning? <laughs> meaning, I just figured out how to whip up a whole new slew of concoctions, sweetheart. I've even got some ideas for some concoctions with brand new effects. <laughs> it's a recipe revolution. We all know you Yanks love those. Yeah, Hell baby. yeah. Thank you, weird light thing. <laughs> oh, they're going to be weird pills, though, right? You get to enjoy them all. How's about that Some for that for some fortunes, sweetheart? The recipe is unlocked. Okay, so there's still... Huh. There's still more game to be had as it out. Yes, I believe the actual correct thing you're supposed to say is is uh, is, is is here. I think is it's still correct. Not 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 drive. Drive a cart. Drive a car. I'm an animal. like end game music so well it's a lot i like it i think very dramatic especially for this game a little lost. <laughs> there we go. Talk to the Berrymans or, or no. A, a Mr. White? Go speak to Mr. White. Or something. Martha Berryman. Okay. Nope. We are talking to the Berryman. Never mind. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Uh... From an objective standpoint, neither good nor bad, I would say. Is there something I can help you with, Ms. Hayward? Well, n not really. Then if you don't mind, may I ask you a question? <laughs> I'm here to serve, my liege. <laughs> Why aren't you? Although I suppose it's only fair, my own question is cruel in its own way now that I think of it. Remember what you said to me, royal tomb. Never be the one true king, you hear me. Would you mind explaining why you were so sure? Yeah, I guess I did say that. Well, you probably- well, you'll probably find it pretty insulting. Humiliating, even. You sure? Oh. You're honestly warning me now as if I have anything left to- Good boy. Anyway, it's simple. You gave up on your dream of becoming a pro painter, right? I still- Nope. Well, yeah, but as a hobby. I saw one of your old paintings. Honestly, it bored the hell out of me, but it did look professional. Uh, I'm the painting sorry. of the giant. Yes, well, I also lack a, lacked a great deal of skill back then. Feels the same as money, though. You can never have enough. But that painting of yours was filled with an over overwhelming amount of confidence and spirit. I'm going to become the world's number one artist. In fact, I know that I already am. I mean, that's practically what every art student thinks, right? No. Nope. Otherwise, why would they ever go to art school? Pressure and uncertainty, the pressure and uncertainty of it all would be lethal. Oh. I. Anyway, changing subjects. The king is number one as far as kingdom goes, right? The top of the pyramid. Only God stands above them. The king's job is to sit all alone in the throne room and order people to go and die for him. Oh. Yes, yes. All right, but... But you abandoned the confidence you once had. The belief that you were number one. You gotta be really sure if you're thinking I'm the greatest ruler in history, ruling the world's greatest kingdom... Otherwise, who would ever follow you? Who would ever die for you? Oh. Yes, right. This is extremely insulting, especially since I can't even think of a re That's why, in the end, you made the right decision. Yeah. Decision? Yeah. You chose your family, didn't you? Both John and Thomas see you as their number one. Oh. But... <laughs> but what? Honestly, I'm envious of you. If there ever comes a day where you're able to truly see yourself as the world's greatest artist again, and you're able to put off all of your heart, put all your heart, sorry. And you're able to put all your heart into painting again as a pro. 
But I'm sure John and Thomas will both be there to cheer you on. You don't have to fight alone anymore. That's what makes you so strong. The stupider you get, the stronger you are. Don't even possess a modicum of common courtesy. I'm sorry, but I can't listen to that voice longer. Do you mind removing yourself from my presence? There no problem. See you around. She's like, ah, no She's like, no offense taken. I'll see you later. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. John, Thomas, you will never forgive me. Such a stubborn queen. What does she care if anyone sees her crying now? Like she said, not like she's got anything left to lose. That was incredibly profound, actually. Naomi, what the heck? Where are you hiding that knowledge? Okay, looks like that was the only one I can get done right now. The other one is going to be locked until the day. Until the daytime. Berryman residence is, uh... They're all asleep right now. Martha's the one up at night. <laughs> wondering what went wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it seems like so... At least on the surface. Again, I, I have my reservations and I've made them known. We have we, we 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 know we know uh what caused caused that that uh you know what caused the the words uh the figure that we saw that was flashing past glowing footprints <laughs> the weapon we know we know all about that stuff uh, as again assuming. Assuming, uh, it's what I what I what I assumed about the weapon probably is correct. It, even though I still even though I still stand by that it would be difficult to stab someone with a, with a weapon that didn't even have an edge to it or or a point to it. Um, seems to be that 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 is indeed a weapon or that's intended by. Are we hungry? No, I don't think that worked. Let's get a, like a picture of the church. I think that was one of the. That was. Yeah, baby. A small churches? Is that is it? Is that one like not small enough? I wonder, or am I just not close enough? Am I too far, in fact? Uh, just said, just said uh, to get a picture of a small old church. Seemed like the church to take a picture of, but it wasn't even really registering on the camera. Uh, the camera's reticle. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this isn't the one. A little annoying. Well, I'm pretty hungry. Let's check out and see. Let's let's go. Let's go cook a little something. Lulu, Lolo, here. Going through the epilogue of chapter three. My character is near starvation. So let's take care of that. <laughs> Potato. I'm enjoying the- I'm- I'm- I'm enjoying the music. 
that the atmosphere of this late game. Uh, real different, just in general. Yeah, I'm stuffed. Okay, looks like John and Thomas uh, woke up for the day. Let me go try and talk to them. Yo, got a minute? How's life treating you? Uh, it isn't Ms. Naomi. Sorry for, uh, lying to you about John and stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, I know you only did it to keep us out of danger. Look, it was an emergency, okay? Desperate measures, you know the drill. Oh, I know, I know. Sometimes you need to break a few rules in order to survive. <laughs> no matter what happens, your tummy will always continue to rumble. Don't cry over spilled milk. Just eat some meat. I, uh, have... No fucking clue what that was supposed to mean, but I'm glad you seem to be doing okay. Okay, I'm better and okay. I did a lot of thinking over these past few days, mm-hmm. Oh, I've got a tough road ahead of me for sure. That just means it's time for me to stand up and fight. Kind of trouble you can't run from, right? That's right, so I'm gonna fight where I've got the best advantage. <laughs> And what's the advantage, you ask? By calling on a fellow neighbor with a loud, friendly voice. Problem needs smarts, I can just leave that to John. He's got enough brain power for the both of us. Did you hear? He's working on developing something called a tele-existence. Right now. <laughs> oh, sounds cool. I don't know what that is, but, like, it's probably neat. How's this? Mm-hmm. But I won't let him take all the glory. We're gonna make sure Martha comes home with a smile. Yeah. Rune for ya. Hey, okay, looks like one more person from the from the Berryman family. Uh, well, I his wife was accused of murder, and seems to be going through a lot of stuff just in general. So I think he's more just fighting a general terrible family emergency. Okay, and John. Hey! Yo, Mackie. Were you burning the midnight oil again last hey. night? Oh no, he's disappeared. He's He worked himself to invisibility, I guess, or non-existence. Oh, Miss Hayward, have you got something you wanted to ma wanted me to take apart? Nah, I just came to check up on you. Wouldn't want you to starve to death or anything, you know? Cheers. Sorry for that little incident. So, uh, has everything been okay at home lately? <laughs> yeah, I suppose we're doing all right. Not at the same time. Whew. Humans can be pretty difficult to get along with at times, don't you think? Can't say I disagree. I think my old man and I are on the same wavelength. Need to work hard and make sure we get by okay or else mum will never be able to relax. But as a mechie, I know that it's dangerous to force anything to work too hard, you see. Huh? Oh, you mean, uh, metal fatigue? Whew. Exactly. Human or metal, everything will start to give when it's pushed too hard. Machines. For some reason, people like us keep enjoying... Enjoy keeping ourselves busy. After we did. My dad started selling mincemeat and croquettes at his shop. Whatever is for sale each day pretty much depends on whatever we had for supper the previous night. What I know about engineers, a lot of them get excited whenever they're up against a new challenge. You're not wrong, and I reckon he also wants to brag to mom about it when she gets home. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes not to hear you. Not to hear. You two can't do anything without me when she gets back. <laughs> well, I'm just glad you both seem to be alive. And all that. Right, make sure you get some rest. Okay. Epilogue, epilogue complete? Oh, someone texted me? Wait, no, I can't get texts out here. This is the second time that's happened. I'm getting a weird feeling. Is this some kind of omen? Better head home and check my mail right away. Oh, you fast wanna travel. You check your email? Normally, you'll do anything to dodge the bills and deadline chases. But it does seem like a very special email has arrived. And most of the emails we've gotten have just been offers to give us money for photos. And with it, maybe the Nothing climax bad. to our little story, too. Conclusion? Conclusion on the horizon? Catastrophe point. Oh no. Or not conclusion? 
confused? Oh, not fast travel. No fast travel. Well, I'm too lazy. Let's see. Let's see how this game ends. I'm curious. So damn slow. Final chapter. Actually, final chapter. Okay. Oh. Dear Ms. Hayward, it's me. E. An invited guest will soon arrive. Beware them. I don't know whether you'll give this mail a proper reading or not, and I don't have the power to influence you into doing so. But let me say this. Good for life. The choice is up to you. Dear Naomi Hayward, this is Lucy Turner. This will be a very private mail, email, or private mail, so I'm sending it from my phone. You're familiar with Dr. Nicholas Anderson, the leader of the science team, aren't you? He's an extraordinary man. A while back, he won a ton of essay contests offered by the government, private enterprises. He earned himself a lot of scholarships and was thought of as the kind of young prodigy who only comes around once a century. He actually earned his first degree when he was 14, so the story checks out. But as I touched in, but I touched on in one of my previous messages, he has some social issues. All of his scholarships and joint study researches, researches ended up being cut off before he could finish on them. He's also been accused of power and sexual harassment more than a few times. Our CEO, Ms. Kelly, is a big fan of Dr. Anderson has somehow managed to snuff out all the accusations he's received thus far. In fact, rumor has it that when she hired him to work at Morning Bell, she forced him to sign a contract that stated he would never post on any social media site, either personally or as a representative of Morning Bell News. Just know that meeting him in person may leave you a bit perturbed. Or angry, I guess. Just understand that he's a man with many problems and try your best to withstand him. Okay, so he's a creep. We got a, we got a certified sex pervert coming along. Got it. Dear Naomi Hayward, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. There's been a very sudden development that has changed things in a very big way. After completing the analysis of, of the three samples you sent us, Cortana's Edge, the Glowing Moss, and the Vampire's Blood, Dr. Anderson suddenly said he needed to perform some field work. We're currently waiting for our CEO to respond, but it seems like everything else has been finalized within our department. In fact, I believe that our science team should arrive in Rainy Woods by 3 p.m. tomorrow. I'm very sorry for the late. There's no need for you to prepare or anything special about our London branch will meet them at the airport and support them. Just think of it as a little vacation and spend your time off however you like. Doesn't it feel great to finally get some time off? Oh, and Daniel already sent us a detailed report on the local restaurants. There's a lot of criticism regarding their seafood dishes, but I'm glad the food there generally seems to be edible. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'll be accompanying the team on their trip. Don't worry, I'll do my best to stay out of your hair. Ooh, so we're going to be meeting Lucy. Ooh. You know, did you tell this will be my first time seeing the UK? I'm so excited. I get to visit the British Museum, the National Museum of Scotland, the Guinness Storehouse, the Tank Museum. Oh, I just can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to see how she looks so I can actually give her a proper voice. Something else. What does she think I'm supposed to do with all this time off she's given me? There's no spa, no nail salon, no gym, not even a friggin' pool. This entire town is all natural. Oh, well, maybe I can hit up the usual suspects and make some pocket change in the meantime. Do we have a day? You have a day to waste, basically. So what can we do? What can we do for our day? Um. Hmm. We could do a wildlife survey. That'd be something. And uh, we could also open up the rest of the shrines just for fun. Uh, let's let's try and let's do those. So we need a, a pine marten, a hedgehog, and a rabbit. I believe you can find the hedgehogs along the street. And then uh, and then pine marten and rabbit is best found uh, by the witch's friend. A little easier to find at certain times of day, but I've never had a problem finding. Finding them, finding them uh, here and there. I think hedgehogs are easier to find on the edge of the on the edge of town as well. Oh, got one. Good photo. 
Okay. Hedgehog got. He's too fast. That gotta go fast. <laughs> oh. I love terrible Sonic jokes. It's a Pine Martin. Okay, now a rabbit. Things are really difficult to find. Okay, let's see how long it takes us to find one. Oh no. <laughs> you can find a hedgehog pretty easily though. He's still on my ass. circle somehow. I don't remember rabbits being particularly difficult to spot. Just that they're not the most common spawn. Now I'm wondering if I should get off my steed. Also. I wonder what quests are possible to handle right now. Oh. What should I be able to do in this short amount of time? I could probably do the piss quest. <laughs> That's always an option. Upload, upload, upload. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Oh, I fixed. Okay, number three, medium-sized animals, badger and red fox. Oh gosh, those guys are a little are, are a little dangerous. Yeah, the church didn't count. Doesn't look like. But uploaded it anyway. Why not? Um. Okay, well, let's pee on some stuff. That's that that's that's one that I think I need to do during the day so I can talk to Horatio. Let's go find some pee pee spots.
Let's go. Why not? go find some foxes and badgers. Gotta go around. the other side. Gotta go around. God, this game is weird. I wouldn't have it any other way. I think like if anything, if, if nothing else, I'm gonna remember this game. <laughs> okay, so that's 10 right off the bat. What else I can mm -hmm. I've never heard of that show. I'm curious as to why you mentioned it. Waiting in suspense. Nikolai, uh, okay. One of those. One of those, a la Curse of the Forbidden Temple, or whatever that one was called. I have 12. not necessarily one of those game shows, but rather something a little more buck wild, I suppose. Or about how- Running around and peeing on things. Hungry work, I suppose. Let's see, I'm so close. I'm very close. Done here. Let's see. Oh, I guess. Let's pee on the town landmark. There we go. That one's that one's a difficult one. That one's a hard mode one.
He said he gotta try extra hard. That one. How many more I got left? Three? We can find three. We can find three easy. Don't mind me, I'm just a dog stealing from your garden. little unclear how close you're supposed to get to any of these to be able to actually see them. There's two more and that's perfect. I think. Talk to Horatio and get something to eat while we're at it. I think it's by the pub. Both the one. Perfect. Yeah, they just kind of go up whenever otherwise. Okay, so we are hungry. Toting the whole Sunday roast. A red deer steak? I'm out of money. Give me money. <laughs> Damn you! Give me money. <laughs> Thanks as always. Money. <laughs> Thirty more. Fuck you. I don't got enough time for that. The conclusion of the story comes tomorrow. and red fox oh yeah also the, the the shrines and the kitchens hmm. let's see oh uh, you're reminding me there's uh, again there is a there is a place relatively nearby uh that uh that does a lot of um does like cornish pasty and scotch eggs and such and i'm like oh i should go back that's pretty good stuff. I got pretty good stuff. Looks like we are probably dangerously close to finishing. I have to do a little bit of traveling. I head out to the quarry. I head out to the quarry, I bet I could probably knock out the rest of them uh, ooh, let's see though let me just I'm pretty you know what I'm pretty healthy relatively overconfident um I'm just gonna withdraw all the money and uh and uh, use it to unlock any kitchens that I haven't yet I'm feeling decently overconfident why not Um, 
Hard build eggs, set or runny? I prefer set. Less of a mess. I don't know. I understand runny because I do like I do like sunny side up eggs, but if it's if it's gonna be hard boiled, I prefer it just to be set. If I'm gonna have sunny side eggs, then I want it to be runny. You know, it's just it's two it's two entirely different cravings. There. So let's see. Okay. Fine try. Any kitchens that I missed out on? I'll find out later. Now. I can probably maybe do two kitchens. Possibly only one, actually. Unless I find some stuff to sell, like, pretty quick. Okay. It looks like I can go down here. in the road and then no one yeah I think I'll spend the evening I'll find I'll find a picture of a fox and a badger and, uh, I'm just gonna finish up the shrines as much as I can I'm a little short on money so doing all the kitchens might not be possible but I'll do the shrines never quite had that problem as far as like as far as like getting a set white but then a runny yolk. I don't know. I always seem to manage it and I can't even really say why but Might be because I'm maybe just a little too overconfident. So oftentimes I'll just uh I'm I'm I may be a little too okay with it if it's if it's like a little undercooked as far as the whites go. There's another kitchen down here. And I can go up this road to find another shrine. Well, you know the whole trick of, um... Of, uh, of of cover of covering the pan uh, while you're cooking the eggs just to help them set a little more where it's where it's like where it's like you use a use a lid or a splatter cover or whatever you have and uh, uh, cover cover up the eggs while it's um, while it's cooking yeah it does it usually does is the thing. getting the timing right or maybe I'm maybe maybe you just like it more set than I do forty bucks that's still enough to activate a few still have to activate the rest on without a without a ton to spare but I can still We're heading all the way up to here. Why not? Well, 
I like to quick fry them for the sake of mixing it with rice. And then like a bit of soy sauce and sometimes spam. I really, I really just, I really just, uh, just, just, uh, cook them enough until the, until the whites are opaque. Because it doesn't need to be pretty, oftentimes I'll kind of scramble the whites and then leave the yolk intact, so I still get that, get that sauce. I don't even know the context of the question. I feel like I can't answer it until I know the context. Ooh, fox. Picture? Got two and one. I believe uh, if you go to the mine back there, that's a pretty guaranteed place to find some badgers. I might need to go back and do if I run out of money to do grinds here. Oh, this mine has badgers. Well. Oh, yep, there they are. Time to maybe die. That's probably good enough. <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Got one done there. Oh, it looks like there's a gate and another shrine down. Head down. Now that I got that, that's that's an easy way to make a little a little extra money. Headed in the correct direction. There we go. are almost out of money that is okay might be able to sell something to the merchant to get at least enough money to help to teleport home there's our shrine Is this another is this the church? Small church? That's the small church, I guess. Well too late now, but I'll take a picture. For fun. Okay. Oh we can sell. Oh good. Perfect. Perfect, we got tons of stuff to sell.
Perfect. Okay, now we are not we we are we are not uh, wanting for money. How? Out. Very good. Good. In Yeah, that got us a lot of money. Um, it's opening the gates doesn't really not really a part of a quest or. Let me see. Other gates are there, or like. Hmm. Looks like as far as on the map currently goes, the only other gate we can find is up there, and I don't know if that's, like, story-related. We found all the ones we could right now. Yeah, maybe the rest of them are just story related. Found all the ones we can at the moment. Hmm? Heck if I know. Back home? Back home. Get that fox and badger money. Okay, weird manhole covers, legendary bears, rainy town, nameless violinist. <laughs> Thanks, as always. We're making some money. Okay, what's she want now? Large animal, red deer. I have literally never seen a red deer out here. Um, also something, something, yeah, I've never seen a red deer out here. They must exist because I have seen mentions of red deer meat and so far every animal that's been mentioned has been shown so, shown in some capacity. Uh, you know what? I think Naomi needs some rest and something to eat. So how about I go take care of that for her? Get her all prettied up again. Time. We can go out into town. And I caught a cold immediately. Immediately. Okay. What? It's what my sheet is for. To the old lady. Quickly now.
an old lady. Time to steal some cough medicine from her. I mean, pay for goods. Definitely not using exploits to beat medicine out of her, out of an old lady. No, sir, I would never. Give me medicine. find something to eat over it over at the mushroom place it can improve my health a little more I guess we'll see what we even have left to do at all. Oh gosh, oh, you have a quest oh, suddenly? Seriously? Damn you! We'll meet again. Hey, sure. mm -hmm. Feed me. Okay, which what what boosts health? Health. What boosts health? Oh, there we go. But that one's pretty. That one's a pretty, pretty good deal. They're pretty good deals. Let's get that. There we go. Health, health improved. Does he? Not so much. Let's see. Anything else we can, like, get up to, perhaps? The one last drinking battle. Which is pulled. Let's see. Find, find, uh, find the last rare butterfly wing. These are legitimately difficult to find. <laughs> have one still? Uh, oh, never mind. Um, hmm. Oh yeah. Still want to see if we can catch that guy sneaking, sneaking drinks at the pub, didn't we? What if we can take care of that in the next, like, Five hours. You said there was like some trick to it, and then you wouldn't tell me what the trick was. Round, huh?
sneaking. I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind the bush. Oh, wait. Actually, uh, what is it? Yes. Fireplace. I'll make it a twofer. And yeah, sure, give me a hint. So I got to move it out of the way. Is that what I'm doing? Whatever, we're supposed to supposed to do this. It's three o'clock right now anyway. Too late. Am I not in town square enough? I do. I do, in fact, have 30 seconds. Oh, is that it? Did I did I did I manage it? Did I take a picture of him? Is that the one I was looking for? Is that the picture I was looking for? Is that the one? I'll try it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright there. That's tough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cute. But today's not a payment day, is it? None of your business. Just do us both a favor and keep your mouth shut. Huh? Told you to keep your mouth shut. Yeah, the, the 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 requirements for some of these quests are still t are 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 too weird into it. Move on, move on, moving on, moving on. Moving on, the plot has come. Where am I? Swine! Silence, subhuman. Oh my god, he's a Pokemon villain. Nothing infuriates me more than creatures that can somehow speak despite having no concept of how to properly discuss a topic. No, this subhuman questioning me in any way is a punishable offense. It's a subhuman? This must be Dr. Anderson. But some subhumans have the capability to coincidentally induce positive effects. Much like the pattern I'm currently observing. Go on. Thank your luck or your god, as you subhumans are so quick. Oh my gosh, he's the. 
This is from the Aether Foundation. Pokemon Sun and Moon. And now, behold! Feast your eyes on these relics. This is cer There is certainly a better term for them, I know, but this will do for now. Alone, each relic is equivalent to nothing more than a piece of garbage. No, they are garbage, plain and simple. That's science for you. But when all three are utilized in unison, what do they create? A prime example of shocking, astonishing science. Er homeboy. Garp I mean, like, I understand maybe not having an interest in collector's whiskey, but, like, as a scientist, wouldn't you care that, like, you could potentially have your hands on on a 500 year old sword like that like that that's a unique find uh, even if it, even if you can't confirm it that it's the one in startlingly good condition uh as well as uh as well as a new species of moss which isn't the most exciting but i i assume that's the type of thing that scientists like care about and so i hereby name the scientific phenomenon <laughs> the trinity incredibilis trinity what, what now? I'll decide its official name later. There are more important things to deal with. Yes, it makes perfect sense now that I've come all the way out to the United Kingdom. I will use an empirical approach to tease out the secrets of the Trinity and Credibilis. <laughs> Open those turbid eyes of yours and watch closely, subhuman. Yeah, wow, fuck this guy. Depends on the species of scientist. Good way of what putting the, it, I guess. Hey, what there the? I told you to silence yourself, subhuman. Now, commencing with today's exposure experiment on specimens A, B, and X. Exposure time, three seconds. End report. Now for a short lecture on the constituent parts of the Trinity Incredibilis. This tank contains a culture of glowing moss. One might consider this moss the main power source of the Trinity Incredibilis. I'm still not sure what that Next, means, we but... Have this gun. The gun itself bears no intrinsic value. Just a regular kid's water gun from a regular mall with some slight modifications. I filled it with acid! The key here is what I attach to the muzzle. Cortana's Edge. With this, I can provide directivity to the energy that is released. Filled it with acid! <laughs> Put moss water inside it. <gasps> But this alone is not enough to birth true science. And so I will inject vampire's blood into the cylinder of this gun. Yeah, I filled this a water Yeah, I filled a water gun with some whiskey. Catalyst. I thought it'd be fun. I want to see what happens. Behold, the Trinity Incredibilis. I love how the bodyguard's getting shot at too. He's just like, oh whatever. Had worse. Exposure experiment one completed. He does not care. Of specimens A and B. No effects witnessed on specimen X. Proceeding to exposure experiment two. Exposure experiment two completed. Confirming new forms of specimens A and B. No effects witnessed on specimen X. End report. This can't be good. I wonder if, I wonder if our job is to decide which one's guilty. I wonder if that's what we're going to do. Shocked you to your very core? This is the power of science. The driving force that allows you subhumans to live your days And supposedly he loved one of them. Happiness. Supposedly. As you can see, this ray only affects those who hail from this town. But through repeated experimentation, I will quickly acquire the kind of makes no sense when you think mystery. about it from that lens that what well, that is the Mr. White science. Uh, loved Martha. Science. So why would you do this? Why would you just hand her over? If every human could transform into an like not even to the police, but just this random problem fuckwad working flash. for a newspaper. We could turn all the unproductive subhumans like you into cats and dogs solving the world's population and hunger problems and that's only the beginning why would that Next, solve the we'd employ militaristic and might problem. against ignorant savages who deny have, like, scientific prowess this guy's a total psycho we're going what 
Hmm. He, he's a Pokemon villain. He's a Pokemon villain. He's, he's, he's like, I want to turn the entire world to Pokemon so world peace and hunger. Subhuman, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. Gotcha. I currently lack the required number of specimens. I need a wider variety of samples, and you will bring them to me. Samples? I just gave you an order. You were to bring several more townspeople to me at once. Yeah, like, I mean, either, either you're proposing that we start eating cats and dogs. Uh... Like, either that's what he's implying, or he's implying that, like... I mean, I guess cats and dogs eat less. But if we suddenly woke up one day and had a couple million more cats and dogs, either we would just have to put a bunch of them down, which, yeah, then just, just be direct and just make a make a death ray if you're going to do that anyway. Or we'd just have a bunch of cats and dogs to feed. Like, <laughs> just have a bunch of cats and dogs to feed all of a sudden, which is like... Which is, which is like, imagine if his plan backfired. He turned like half the world into cats and dogs and then everyone got a moral imperative that we need to take care of these cats and dogs. And suddenly it was just a strain on the meat industry. It was like, how would that be like, it's like not the same problem, my guy. <laughs> I haven't solved anything. You're just, a you're just a weird Pokemon villain. I just gave you an order. You were to bring me several more, you're, bring you're to bring several more townspeople to me at once. Seriously? But that's abduction. Don't you dare try and reinterpret my orders using different words. Like, there's like, don't you dare tell me what I'm asking you. Go do that thing right now. Or it would cause the entire human race to suffer. Your ignorance is nothing short of a betrayal to all mankind. Uh, but this is your last mission. Upon completion, Morning Bell News will award you and reward you amply for your performance. Wait, you mean, that's right. You'll be able to pay off your entire debt. All you need to do is obey my orders. Complete your task like a good robot. Mm -hmm. an ideal for any, an ideal job for any subhuman. I don't like that he calls her subhuman, not because it's like oh it's demeaning, but I think it's uncreative, right? Like wouldn't like, would, like there's like I I think of like all the different like you are less than human insults I can think of. And one that comes to mind uh, is is, uh, is is the insults that Isaiah and uh, and Shizuo have in Durarara, where Isaiah calls Shizuo a, a a protozoan, like basically like a, a, a brainless little single celled organism, and Shizuo calls Isaiah a flea, annoying little pissant basically, and it's like and I like those insults. They're they're creative. It kind of it gives some insight as to what they really think of each other, um, and it, they both have the same have basically the same uh, uh intent is subhuman you're less than human in some way little and insignificant um but it's like it's just subhuman it's so it feels lazy it feels lazy um something snappier or or like you know just go sign to like it would, it would just, just be like really literal bad like neanderthal um or or like Crow Magnum, just pull pull out some of that. I don't know. Subhuman just like it's lazy. Do better, game writers. Just imagine it. Imagine what could happen in a world where humans are free to change into dogs and cats wherever whenever they wish. We'd be able to track each other's pee. <laughs> oh, an uncharacteristically sharp bastard. Okay, oh wait, is is that his goal? He just wants people to be able to change by will. Is he just a furry? Have we misunderstood him this whole time? He doesn't want world domination. He's just a furry. What if detection dogs you see in airports could actually converse with elite narcotics agents? And what if police dogs could speak with veteran officers? No, what if they were veteran officers themselves? Hmm, yeah. That's, I mean, that's someone's kink, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're finally starting to understand the true potential of the Trinity Incredibilis race, subhuman. And it should go without saying that this invention will only continue to contribute millions of dollars to great scientists. So how does this solve world hunger? I'm confused. What? <laughs> What? Subhuman. When it becomes a commodity, those who assist in, in discovering and researching the relics may even earn something. It put in a recommendation for you, you know, if I remember that is. If listen, listen guy. Listen guy, if 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 your if your idea is so great, go do what every other scientist does. Go get a go go get a clinical trial order. 
clearly had enough money to set up a lab here. So you have some kind of money to do something like that. Go, go ask for a clinical trial. Get some willing participants. I'm sure there are some furries out there who would fucking love to be a dog. Go, go find them. Don't ask me to kidnap people. What the fuck? As long as I do a good job, is that it? Mm -hmm. It appears as though you're finally you finally begin to understand your place. Well, yeah, smaller stomachs, right? But like, that's only if, like, like, what if, what if this guy? What if what if we just end up with a bunch of like, because because like, there are dogs out there that eat more than more than a lot of a lot of average humans. I think of like like really big dogs like Saint Bernards. Like, what if what if what if we accidentally just end up with a bunch of Saint Bernards, and they eat way more. And then it's, and then the problem's worse actually. What if it were yeah, just like What my guy? What's your plan here? I don't get it. It appears as though you finally begin to show your For place. For the sake of um, science. In which case there is no there is no more time to waste. An immature I'm not bringing him a child. I'm not bringing him a child. Are you kidding me? Highly intelligent specimen, exceptional specimen. That could mean anything. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe Mr. Anderson, a uh, certified sex pervert, uh, as we've established, maybe he has a point here. Maybe he, maybe he is in fact doing nothing wrong. I'm still not giving him a child though. Uh, I would never trust this man with children. Who's the smartest person we know? I literally, I'm un, I guess like maybe John. I don't want to give him John. I don't want to give him John. No so exceptional specimen. I don't even know what that means. I'm just not. I'm just, I'm just science. refusing to giving him a child. I'm just refusing to give him a child. Martha Berryman. Lynette? Oh, the the sheep girl. Um Imbecile? These rural bottom feeders are nothing but the epitome of mediocrity. Any variance is a sliver of natural deviation. But Lynette possesses monstrous strength that is foreign to most females. She is deserving of special attention. Uh that's what you call gender bias, just in case you didn't know. Fine. Subhuman, how dare you accuse me of being sexist just because I have five ongoing sexual harassment cases going on right now. Doesn't mean you have the right. <laughs> when I say gender, I mean gender is seen from a biological perspective, physical and mental advantages. I simply wish to thoroughly ex analyze all elements that could influence future test results and nothing more. Kill one of her sheep and bring it here. Once Lynette finds out that her sheep is here, she'll come, out of, she'll come of her own accord. It'd be wise to go for the sheep when everyone else is asleep. I'll have a secret exit prepared for it. All right, all right, jeez. I wish I could give him Lobster Man. Lobster Man would somehow come out of it, okay. I don't want to give him Lonette. Swine! What are you standing around for, subhuman? Haven't you ever heard of the saying, time is money? Bring me my specimen at once. What if I didn't? What if I instead told the whole town to get some bats? And we never told anyone about this, uh, about, about this ever again. What if instead, uh, we orchestrated an effort to hide up, hide the body? We could do that. We could do that. I think the second I told, I think, I think if I told them, I think if I told them that, uh, you wanted to kidnap one of the kids, I think they'd be pretty eager. Small, small town in England, someone has to have a shotgun. Oh, is that? Oh no, is that? Is that Elizabeth's wheelchair? Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, Lynette's sheep. Uh, really don't have an option here, do we? We're on rails here. Well, like we don't even really have the option to refuse him.
Okay, this way. Still thinking about that answer. Um... Everything sounds okay to me. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Everything sounds pretty normal to me. Oi! Is someone else having the same problem? Okay, to, sounds alright to me. I'm not noticing anything. Hey, stop right there, sheep thief. Uh, this is my sheep. See ya. Okay, dang, she even gave us an out, and Nomi was like, no, thank you. Then we could talk at Michelle's tonight. Why don't we do that? That, like better hmm we have to wait until night time well, what do we do now and yeah, make it like a make it like a secret good ending or it, at the very least they wanted to be like they want to be like that about it. That'd be kind of cool. Uh let's check out the piece. some buzz on the photo. Uh, until night time. Let's cook in the kitchen. A perfect way to, to, to pass the time here. Woo! Also a good thing to do. I suppose. Yeah. I'm stuffed. I guess. But ooh, also if we sleep in hours, that'll pass enough time. It'll be nighttime. Then we can go steal a sheep. Rest the story. Take a little power nap now, me. It's sheep stealing time. <clears throat> dead of night by that i mean it's about 2 p about 10 p.m you know give, give or take i'm a sheep stealer how did it come to this hey, naomi it came to this because you'd do anything for money relax relax it'll all be okay now i just have to deliver it to the mad scientist
Well, time to hurry before Lynette kicks our ass. I have a feeling she could kill me in one hit. Now, now, now granted, I would thank her for it. I would let her kill me. Not just because of this moral quandary, but, you know. Uh, you, you, you know why. You know why. You know why. <laughs> Wait, why am I so sure about that? Hmm. No, it's too late to be doubting myself. That mad scientist isn't working alone. He's got all Morning Bell News backing him up. If I try and mess with them in the name of my own pathetic little justice, they'll just fire me and hire someone else to do the job be better for everyone else if I handle this as opposed to someone who doesn't know anything about how this town works hmm. nice job back there okay so I'm heading out to Burley's farm I leave the rest in your hands farm but why did your part now it's time for me to do mine mm. they say that good work only ever follows a good rest so go home and rest for this So motivated to keep doing his job. So I'm supposed to go home. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, how many computer screens is that? Wait, uh, 11? As you say, the more computer screens, the better. It means real science is going on. Does he even have a, does he even have a mouse or a keyboard? Are those just, are those just screens? Ooh, do, do you think one of those gloves is a power glove, seriously? Se uh, uh, secretly? Is it, does he, does he control them with his Google glasses? Is it? <laughs> I'm now, I'm, it's now in my brain canon that he, that he uses a power glove. A subhuman is only as good as the, as the method by which its master utilizes it. That's what I always say. I see as you, I see you finally found the first specimen. What are you waiting for? Go collect the other two right away. <laughs> you prefer power glove? I don't want a kid, it's not even giving me the option. Okay, fine. Highly intelligent specimen. For the sake of science. Um... Do note that the term physically advantageous, they've, uh... Name is Charlie Smith. Huh? Lost Charlie your Smith, mind. who the hell is that? He calls himself a researcher. Uh, Norlock Homeless. Okay, I don't give a shit about that guy. Sure, I'll do it. I don't even feel bad this time. <laughs> I don't even feel bad this time. Why not? Swine! <laughs> yes, yes, this is quite the wheelchair. If enlarged, it could allow anyone to traverse public highways without a license. <laughs> in fact, I can hardly believe such a fascinating discovery could have been made in this rustic sky. Oh, damn hellhole. It never patented and never will. He released, he, he, rele he created such an amazing accessibility device, and it's for him and him alone. <laughs> Just like his, just like his, just like his modified wheelchair that he's now thinking of making. It is for him and him alone. Okay. So what are we doing with them? Uh, photo target Nicholas in a wheelchair. Give photograph to Norlock Homeless. It is incredibly, incredibly low. Oh, he's on the move. Oh, no. Go, let's go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We can find him. We can find him. Come on, come on, we'll make it, we'll make it. 
stop right there, Norlock. Hey! Hey, if it isn't the poor woman Sherlock, I, uh, got something to, uh, tell you if you, er... Uh, hmm. Cat got your tongue, dear Hayward. It appears as if you're under a great deal of stress hiding a secret, are we? Well, that was quick. Yeah, you got me. The truth is, out with it now, imagine you're at a confessional. I might have figured out who killed Elizabeth. Hmm, well, I simply can't ignore a lead like that. But if you wish to have me spring into action, you need to show me proof. <laughs> this is probably proof, right? <laughs> this is proof to someone of something. Could be proof that God doesn't exist for all I know. Hand over this photo, hand it over. Oh. Bleeding Nora! Yep, pretty damning photo, Fantastic. isn't it? What's this chap doing with Elizabeth's wheelchair? Gleam would never give it up. Besides, it's important evidence. How'd this happen? How? Oh. Right, thank you for this intriguing piece of evidence. We'll meet again. I feel I may need to look into this in greater detail on my own. I'll be in contact again later. I had no choice. Right? Damn hellhole. Although the rain just comes and goes. Kind of depending on our mood, it seems. The rain just comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. Finally, at long last, you brought me the second specimen. My guy, it took me like 15 minutes. What the f at long last? How impatient are you? Was it that move? Are you like manually? <laughs> You're like manually expanding your lungs there, my guy? Finally, at long last, you brought me the second specimen. Pointless. You subhumans are such slow, unproductive creatures. Now then, allow me to jog your inferior memory regarding the third and final specimen. For the sake of science! An immature specimen. In other words, I need you to find me a filthy little rat. Yeah, Naomi, now's a great time for your, uh... For your conscience to kick in. Do note that you won't find many to choose from, as is par for the course in the countryside of advanced nature. Bring me the girl! In case it is absolutely essential that I get my hands on an immature specimen. I can't afford to be choosy here. The name of the specimen I require is Emma McCauley. Now go and get to work, subhuman. I can't afford to be choosy. Why not use the White Brothers? Swine! How dare you pollute my ears with your opinions, subhuman? Nevertheless, you bring a valid point. I'll offer you a supplemental explanation. This one. I shan't do it a second time. For the time being, I would like to refrain from any unnecessary clashes with Rudman White. Necessi it will be easy to force the McCallies to accept an offering in the form of compensation after all is said and done. In addition, acquiring Emma will also net me Charlotte and Clay as well. Hmm? Can, a can a creature of your intelligence comprehend the full scope of how rational a choice this is? Uh, so basically he said, uh, Mr. Mr. White is, uh, is, is, is probably too rich. Probably too rich and can actually retaliate in a reasonable way. Well, uh, most likely the McCallies will have to settle out of court <laughs> if they don't want to go bankrupt, is what he just said. Got it. Got it. Understood. And the creature of your intelligence. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. Um... Okay. Swine! Yeah, I got it. I got it. Me. My controller disconnected for. Not really sure. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay, she's asleep right now. We'll have to wait a bit.
By wait a bit, I mean, uh... Fast forward time by going to sleep. Because I'm impatient at this point. Hey, we've already been streaming for two hours. That's a uh, little, that's slightly insane, honestly. Um, six hours. Just to right before seven o'clock, about. My sheep was just waiting there for me, sweet boy. Sweet, sweet boy. Mm -hmm. All right there. Good grief, I'm just a little tired. The job I'm working right now is a real pain in the ass. Speaking of which, do you serve anything with catnip in it? Catnip, my now. My now, that's not an order you get every day. Let me have a think. Right, I think your choices might be my stargazy pie with catnip powder or my catnip lace summer pudding. Or you asked me the catnip replaces the cinnamon in the pudding. You're way more prepared for this than I thought you'd be. Well, good grief, what can I say? I'm a pro. Just promise me you won't go using my food for anything untoward. Oh, uh, 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 uh me? Me? Uh, me? Me do something with your food that would be wrong for money? I would never, you know, you know me, boy. I would, I would never. Do that. I certainly would let the kid. Is not at all what I. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to get the summer pudding there. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's probably better. I'm assuming she'd yeah. prefer that. <laughs> Tastes great even when it gets cold. Yeah. Okay. He's not out yet. But I can leave that there for a little while without consequence. Uh, oh, when she's in her cat form? Well, I guess I'll just have to wait. Let me see if I can find somewhere to put this uh, for now. I could probably leave it in... Probably leave it in the restaurant. Pretty much all day without consequence. I'm assuming. I've yet to try and leave Food May despawn after 24 hours. Well, hopefully it's a full moon. Hopefully it's a full moon and I'll be able to... I'll be able to... I'm gonna put it on the table over here, back here. I'm hoping that we get a full moon tonight. If not, we'll just have to wait. So let's see. Is there anything else we can do for now? Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. No, nah, it's not gonna be a full moon for a bit, is it? We have like a couple days to waste. Yeah, yeah, we have, uh, it's, it's not gonna be... Woohoo! Well, what do I do? I guess I just do side quests until it's, until it's getting close to the full moon. Well, then. Is there, like, one more... place out here? I don't even know what else to do aside from go back to this old side quest. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't... Okay. Well. Side quest time, I guess. Yeah, baby! I don't think there's any way to change the cycle of the moon, is there? I don't know, maybe the witch has something for that. Maybe the witch has something for that. Let's ask. Why not? I have to sleep a yeah, baby. There we go. I cheated it. the cycles of the moon for me. What's that? Huh? What's that? Change the cycle of the moon for me. Give me a sleeping potion so I can sleep for however many days. I guess we'll see. I'm genuinely not sure myself. I'm gonna find out, but for now, I mean, what? Not a bad opportunity to do for shrines. And kitchen. shrine out there. Let's see. of each. Bet you anything they're they're next to each other. Might I might not even have access to that. Guess we're gonna see.
Oh, hey, a deer. Look at that. We found one. Yeah. It's making me wonder where this where uh where this last shrine and kitchen are that I'm missing. Try and really look. The full scan. One shrine and one kitchen. Not there they are. There they are. Okay. Go out there. We should actually take care of all of them. I should even have enough time to do all the gates. Remote, remote ass areas out here, huh? Oh, wait, I bet I can make that. Yeah, baby! I have to. Yeah, baby! Nope, some okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. that extra <laughs> how do you end up on the other side how do you even manage that path to the last two. Uh, have a have a good night. I'm hoping the end isn't awful too. I guess I guess you'll hear about it. You'll hear about it soon enough. Uh, announcement for party game time will be coming on Discord probably sometime today. And we got all the kit. Got all that. Go find Salome. Probably just. Or here. Or she's here. Perfect. How convenient. The random person there is staring. Oh, I'm not even gonna ask. Not even gonna ask. Uh, yeah. 
Compassion is king. I agree. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Mrs. Macaulay's principal is a fine one, but... Naomi, let me give you some advice for your own good. Oh, he accepted $10 from the woman that were about to, like, kidnap her grandchildren. Make sure you compare the amount you spend on offerings with what you get back in returns. Otherwise, you'll be open to getting conned by some swindler, and your debt will yeah, only Yeah, $10 grow. wasn't a lot. That We didn't get that much out of that at all. That was, that was kind of pathetic. Well, let's go talk to this freak. Oh, might as well just take take the sheep, I guess. Yeah, but she wanted us to unlock 30 shrines. I don't think she ever paid us before this point. That was 30 bucks. We only got ten bucks in return. We lost twenty bucks on it on the deal, even though it was even though it was convenience. She did okay, not much. Okay, well then, well then, I guess that's something. As they say, it's a living. Naomi still didn't get like a great deal. She's not uh, the most financially. I mean, she has she has a couple million in debt. Uh, of course, she's not financial financially intelligent. Ah. Okay, weirdo. I did your thing. Marvelous. An angel of death. Um, nope. How much money we got? <laughs> Thanks as always. A paltry amount. Okay. I guess all that's left is to just try and do the rest of the gates. Well, actually, first let's. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload the. After kitchen for personal use, just want to make his coffee. What a freak. Go. Upload the photo of that deer. Get that wildlife survey. We can try the rest of the gates. Okay, quail, chicken, pheasant, duck, turkey. Got it. Probably not gonna do it. Let's where I, I have to go. I have to go gate hunting anyway. So I'm, I want to see. If I find them, I find them. nearby.
go pretty much straight down. We'll weird ditch on the map there. Is that just like a like a what's that why why is there like a a coffee stain on the map what's going on there I, 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 I kind of assumed there'd be like something there but uh not really That's about. Uh, I think you can, yeah. I'll just zoom out, I guess. Huh. Weird. Do I even have any gates left to unlock, or are they all done? All I can do is just maybe hunt for the rest of these wildlife for the survey. Acquired duck. Present. Oh, that would have been okay. Oh, come on, stay still. There we go. Turkey. <coughs> Looking for a bunch of birds. This Jan has a has a. Uh, was I just looking? I just seeing the stove. I thought, yeah, there it is. I, I swear there was a quail there. They're total. Pigeon. I don't need. I don't need. I don't. Pigeon. Never. Like what? Stop disappearing on me. I do not appreciate it. There, there was a pigeon there. There was a pigeon there. Oh, and also I, uh, hunger. I hunger, as it turns out. I mostly just need a chicken and a pheasant. I'll actually be done. Let's see. I hunger. Just 
kind of running around randomly until he finds something. I'll check back with Ms. at Miss Jan's house to see if, um, see if I can take a picture of a chicken. That should do well. I haven't noticed too many chickens in the wild outside of just, like, birds. I have seen pheasants, though. I know because I have pheasant meat in my possession, so I must have seen them somewhere. To be honest, I can't quite remember what they look like. It's kind of similar to the turkey collar. Okay. What? Potato. To keep me from starving to death. Potato. Woo! Phew! I'm stuffed. Good enough. Okay. Have to worry about the shop prices. That's suddenly having difficulty finding some. This is the other town. Nope, I made it back to our town. I didn't even realize it. I did somehow, though. <laughs> if I take this shortcut, I'll make it back to the farm. More likely to find what I'm looking for. I swing by there. The pa I think there are pastures back there. It's like a little more. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> pastures back there that are you're more likely to find. Variety of animals. I can jump around as a kitten. If I can find the find the chicken. Here we go. Kind of funny looking out here with the. Uh, well, it's, well, it's nighttime like this. It's, I kind of just feel like I'm squinting. Like, where is anything? It's all dark. I literally am finding myself squinting. Not even. Yeah, but I uh, didn't bother to animate it. <laughs> model is made efficiently well. <laughs> the turkey again, right? It's like the same turkey. Yeah. How did I... How on earth? That happened, I guess, somehow. accidentally glitched over the uh, over the fence there as you do I'm amazed that it let me board the I'm amazed that it let me ride the ride on the sheep after that and then the sheep just glitched over as well that's like the surprising part just suddenly I can't find pheasants Suddenly they don't exist. Maybe I don't, maybe I just literally don't remember what they look like. That's possible. That's in fact very likely. I, you know what, maybe I'm checking in the wrong direction. 
Maybe I should go up to the witch's floor. Head up that way. I can't even find it. Oh, and I'm hungry again. Fair, I guess. I only ate a single potato. Right, a good thing. My eyes can stop straining. I. What clip? What clip are you sending now? What are you doing? What clip is that? I caught a cold. I have to, I might be forced to actually go back home now. Health is real. Hardly. soon to get a cure, actually. <laughs> Head over. I think it's gonna be a little more than. Uh, she's not. A, she's not up yet. I think it's gonna be a little more than um. Than uh. It's gonna be more than three days. I think it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a half moon. We have to wait for the cycle to go all the way back around. So it's gonna be more like an in-game. I'm assuming I'm reading it correctly. I'm gonna be like an <laughs> anyway. Yeah, pretty evil. So I figured I might as well do some quests before I start skipping time. Wait for homeboy to like get in here. Get something to eat. Uh, then I can get a cure for my cold. Get some rest, health up on all that. Give me something that will, yeah, something that'll help help with health. Health. That's a large. That's a health food. Yeah. 
Mushroom Mountain Pasta. Perfect. Check on the witch again. By the time we get there, she should go home. Rest a little. Might pass a day. For the sake of a couple of them. Huh? Heads! Heads! Uh, she charged me more because I, I haven't taken a shower. I'm sick, lady. What do you want from me? Okay. Pass a lot of time. As much as we can. We're at half moon now. <sighs> and, well, actually, let's try the computer. You mean this photo wasn't wasn't an absolute hit on Instagram? Wasn't an absolute banger hit? Okay, chicken and pheasant. Probably find the chicken right. Now. We can go out looking for the pheasant for a bit longer. Hopefully it's not raining still. It's not. Yay. Whoa, how did the sunflower get so big? What the hell happened to it? It's a monster. Violin music. Oh, ho, look who it is. Sorry, but I didn't order an outdoor violin. Res Wait, no. Why did I do a voice? Oh, look who it is. Sorry, but I didn't order an out out outdoor violin recital. You trying to tell me something, Gramps? Look, I know you only ever speak through your music. The problem is I have no idea what you're saying. I will just have to memorize it and ask Horatio to decode it for me. I don't know what this is. Here, I think I got it. Damn, but if only I had my smartphone, I'd be able to record this. Time to go see the old vet. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't write it down. I didn't want to. Uh, I may. I'm not sure why, but I did. En enjoy, enjoy, enjoy virtual picture. Run around until we find Miss Jan's chicken. There we go. 
It just looks like it says a uh, uh, giant. Um, I wonder if that counts as my as my chicken. I guess I'll look around just in case if I find any wild chickens. That huge sunflower. So it is it specifically a sunflower that is giant. Let's see. Maybe we'll have better luck finding a pheasant during the day. And I don't even know if that, if, if um, with a few secret tags too. Yeah, baby! This huge sunflower. I don't even know if that picture I took of a chicken is actually actually counts. I'm gonna try and yeah, baby. keep an eye out, I guess. Just no one knows, like like no one in the entire. No one knows out of those who. Oh hey. Is that was that everything I need? I don't know if Miss Jasmine counts. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Miss Jasmine if Miss Jasmine counts or not. She might not. Let's see. Game's done weirder things, certainly. Let's see. I'll know in a second. Either one's possible. That does not count as a chicken. <laughs> that specifically does not count as a chicken. They said, what is that? That's not a chicken. I don't know what... Okay, gotcha. Kind of funny. I haven't found any wild chickens, though, is the thing. Like, I don't know. I haven't found any. I've refused to look up any guides or take any outside advice instead of what Mozzie's told me. So, I don't know where I'd potentially find any chickens. Put a volunteer some information. Yeah, baby. Maybe, but. If you didn't even find the deer, then you probably didn't get this far, huh? So, probably no use in... Use in asking. I haven't seen any wild chickens or anything like that, so I don't know. <laughs> Apparently they were just hanging out in that forest. Which is like not even an essential. It's it's a forest. It, I guess I guess the hint is kind of there, right? It's it's deer, but it's it's deer spelled the other way. Maybe one of these random like farm guys got some chickens. Just look around and see. Check out these random houses and see if they have any chickens. Check cows. Farmers might have some count. This Jasmine doesn't count. The the, the uh, Google flagged her as a strange alien entity, so you can't use her as a chicken. Is maybe you know? I guess. I guess that makes sense actually. The farm has chickens. Lynette has chickens. Lynette has chickens. Let's go down and talk to Lynette. Turn this bus around. Let's go talk to Lynette. But oh, she will. 
Well, I, I'm gonna be honest, I ignored a good amount of the quests here for this one. This game. Um. Just in general, a lot of side content that I didn't quite get to. I'll say some of that's on me. A lot of the quests I did, I did kind of drop. If I was playing on my own, I might have taken the time more to go through some of them, because I think there is some intrigue here. But there's probably also something to be said, that not all these side quests are created equal, and I could also easily see myself, if I was playing this alone, also giving up on the side quest, just giving up at later, perhaps. Might have gotten a little more done, but eventually I... I don't- I, I could not in any circumstance see myself 100%ing this game. Um... Yeah, period, really. I think, I, I think I'd have to, like... I'd have to have a guide before I even thought about it. According to you, the guides aren't even finished. It's a small indie game. I wonder if you can't even find guides for big indie games. You can't even find one for Yeet. That one was, like, decently popular. I guess no one could actually bring themselves to finish it outside of, like, people who write video essays. And me. Soon enough, anyway. Let's see, you got chickens? You got chickens, Lynette? Let's go. I wonder if it had I wonder if there's anything else here for the for the quest. Is it gonna ask us for some cows? She's not here, she got kidnapped. Well, sometimes it'd be like that. Three chickens. Okay. Wildlife survey part Thanks, six. As always. There is part part five. Is there a part six here somewhere? Yup. A pigeon and a mallard. I've seen a lot of pigeons. Haven't noticed any mallards. Um, I think instead I'm just going to potato. Um Go to sleep. Woo! Uh I am aware of what a mallard is. Stuff. They them they them one they them ones with the with the with the green head, the little necktie. Yeah, mallard, mallard is the one with them with the uh, yeah because a mallard isn't necessarily a male duck. It's a specific type of duck with the green head and the necktie. I believe Daffy Duck is it? Yeah, Daffy Duck is a mallard, <laughs> for example. Let's pass some time again. Ducks related to dragons. Um, okay, so uh, all birds are related to dinosaurs, right? Some more than others. Um, like, like I think chickens are like especially related to dinosaurs. A lot of raptor species, hawks. Uh, but I'm not sure how related ducks are to dinosaurs. And to me, that's the closest thing I could I, I could think of to dragon, right? Closest. One to one, I can I can come up with. So I think that'd be the first question you'd have to ask: How closely related are ducks to dinosaurs? And then you could and then you could find the thread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not sure. Probably some person from the 1500s just just saw it and, and thought, you know, it'd be really funny. You know, it'd be hilarious. Be simple. Um. Uh... Oh, hey, the dramatic music is still playing. Listen, it still it didn't it didn't switch to the to the whimsical violin. Talk to these people. Do they know what's going on? Yeah. Oh, yep, they do. Like, well, something's happening here. We're all gonna die. That's uh, it's no probably. Who's over there? Well, uh, best place to find ducks is to go by the lakes. There's one up north, and then there's one down here. Ooh, I think you can also find ducks around here. <laughs> Let's go out here. You can find some ducks by the river as well. Might be able to find some. Pigeons are stupid easy to find. Can pass a day or so. Power through. Pigeons are stupid easy to find, I say, and then watch as I have to waste an hour to find a pigeon because the one time you want to find one, you won't. They'll have disappeared suddenly. That's just that's just a regular duck. Another regular duck. Deep said no thank you, I'm not crossing that. I can Oh Hello There you are Now it's time for a pigeon Better be it game So mysterious what can cause the what can cause the sheep to just launch themselves off a cliff and and and, and what doesn't I'm curious about that go along this path I'll, I'll find a pigeon eventually oh power of luck it do okay um basically just taking care of some of a, of a of a random of side quest or two because uh, we have to waste some time before the main plot will kick in again. A little sip of water. Just tracking down some animals here and there. Listen to the dramatic music play. We don't even, we don't even get the happy the happy sheep anymore. That's been taken from happy sheep music has been taken from. It's only dramatic. You've had to kidnap like five town people by now. So, uh, only drama from here on out. Fair. Fair. Recently, we've been asked to kidnap a child. As, as you, as you do. At this point, we're just sticking around until the game's finished. We are done. Um, did we? 
Uh, sure. Took away like all of our money. We have a ton of we have a ton of spare photo photo space. That's fine. They're like so late. We don't really. Need You have to do them flying while they're in flight? Oh no! I think the only way to do that is to kind of scare them. Oh no, that changes things. Yeah, a Pokemon villain is is, uh, is menacing us. Oh no, you need a picture of them flying. Huh. That's real specific, game. Yeah, and it's easy to find a pigeon, but usually it's pretty hard to... I guess I'll have to time it right. I think it's possible. You have to time it right. Now we know where to find Mallard. Well, that sucks. Okay. Okay, game. I will comply to your very specific request. Nothing better to do right now. Wait for a uh, boom to wax. Oh, I swear. I suddenly can't find any pigeons when I want to. Dang, that's mean though. Pigeon, not only a pigeon, but in flight. In flight has to be. You can get it to go to, to start flying while it's scared, but then it's hard to take a photo of because it's moving. find a mallard around here. Oh, and another gate. I didn't even know this one was closed off. I can always kill the pigeon and send it flying in doggo mode. Let's see. The mallard honestly I'm more concerned about because I've only seen one of those ever. They're kind of hard to spot. They don't stick out as much as the other ducks. Oh yeah, like that! There we go! And our camera broke, fuck! get it oh my god we didn't we didn't get it we didn't even get it our camera broke we didn't get it the camera broke <laughs> kidding <laughs> are you kidding serious oh my god of course okay Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go repair the camera. But, um... I'm gonna go repair the camera. I should just go repair the camera, probably. Fuck. Sorry. Oops. My bad.
fuck. Uh. Why that timing, though? So let's repair it. Not like hard to do. Hey. Okay, John, I did it. Uh, let's try again. And then we'll pass some more time. Okay, easy. Let's. I think we're headed in exactly the right direction. Just have to go buy some water. Have the right lens, and you pretty much got it. And pigeons just fuck around a little. You'll find one eventually. They're like, they, they're, they're just sky rats. You'll find them eventually. Okay, time to find a mallard, and then we need to scare it off. Take a picture while in flight. There we go. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, did, oh was that was that a, was that good enough? I feel like I should have used the other camera. Let's see. Yes. Good enough. Good enough. Not a color photo, but good enough for the quest, apparently. Okay, pigeon time. Let's go this way. Uh, I, I have seen all of Spy Family. I'm all caught up. I have not read the manga. I would like to soon, but I've, se I've, seen, I've seen all the anime so far. Um, I, I watched it every week as it was coming out, pretty much from episode one. It's a good time. I thought that was a bird at first. That's a, a garden gnome. <laughs> Wait, a real bizarre, real bizarre, uh... Real bizarre one there. Real weird that they decided to, um... To, 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 to set it in pre-World War II... World War II Europe for some reason. Actually, fictional pre-World War II Europe. Oh, uh, we're gonna not find a pigeon again. Can I, like, not find pigeons anymore except that one place? The one guy with that- with that clay stove? Is that it? Hmm. Be harder to find at night, too. A lot of quails right now and favorite character from spy family um hmm I like that's a hard ask i like all of them i like all three i like all three quite a lot 
Um, I think I think it has I think it has quickly become uh, the bisexual TM stance to uh, to 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 be attracted to both your and Lloyd at the same time. Um, uh, so that so th I mean that's my stance. That's that's my stance on. It. Um, they're both great. I want figures of both of them. Uh, I might prefer Lloyd a little more, but like, oh gosh, where is it? 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 Too late. Too. Late. Let me back up the. Let me back up the lens there, or else I'll never. That. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Flew off. Way too fast. That's really fast. That's gonna be a pain. Oh, and it's already back. Okay, okay, okay. They're already back. They're already back. Wow, they fly fast. Those fuckers. Good enough. Good enough. The tags are there. That's all I care about. That means it's fine. <laughs> I'm auto teleporting home so much that I think I'm gonna accident. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna ruin my health. Good enough. These te these photos are terrible, but your fault for asking me to take a photo of a bird in flight. You weirdo. They counted. <laughs> Thanks as always. It's so funny to me the logic of this game sometimes where it's like where where it's where it's like, "Oh, you need a photo of a pigeon if there are if if they are so much as a single pixel like way out in the distance, that's good enough." But if you need a photo of a woman painting and you don't have it perfectly in focus, both her face and the painting, no good. Quest fails. Did it? Maybe? Hmm. Let's let's analyze that. Would would it be would it be possible that the that the manga of spy family um watched spy kids? and was just a huge fan. Is that possible? Darn Kane. Um Is it is it, poss is it possible that, that 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 one inspired the other there? Um And uh, I guess I guess you'd have to like look at the look look at look at the look at the basis uh, of the story. Um, I think there's something to be said that. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a little bit of a stretch. I think I think if anything if anything it was probably like a combination of uh, like a potent combination of James Bond. And a little bit of Stranger Things in there. I think I think that's I think that's mostly what it was. And also probably, uh, if we're being honest, Full Metal Alchemist when it comes to the setting. Um, you can't do pre World War II German inspired country and not not spark some memories of Full Metal Alchemist. Up. Okay, let's 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 uh let's pass some time. Yeah. Gosh, I can't believe I, I always forget that like my kids was so wild. What even happened in that show? In that I mean that series. I, don't, I certainly don't. 
I did not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass an entire deck. Check on the... Oh, was that actually, was that actually the end of that, of that? Um, mushy and... Mushy hot dog and pumpkin pie? Oh, okay. Got that. That's something. I... How do you make it? Do I have what I need for it? I don't even, I don't think I have pumpkin... All I need is, okay, all I need is hedgehog meat. I got that. Um, Tom Hiddleston does something for everyone, I think. Tom Hiddleston is a little too iconic not to love. It's the point where I think even, like, Marvel haters have to admit, like, Tom Hiddleston does a pretty good job. He's, he's, he's like the only reason why the show Loki is tolerable. Cause, cause I'm pretty much of the, I, I, uh... Yeah, no, my, my opinion of Loki swung, of the Loki show swung quite a bit. I have to say, I definitely started off being like, oh, it's a pretty fun time. And then by the time the show was over, I was like, I think it was okay. Now looking back at it, I don't think it was very good at all. I don't think it was very good at all. Um... What am I supposed to do with this again? Oh, let's eat it. The easiest side quest I've ever done. Always. I like the I like the Sylvie actress. I like the Sylvie actress, but the but 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 the, but the story they wrote for the character, all the way up to the weird incest romance, that that, that was just cringe. I hated that. I hated that. I would have liked that. I would have liked the actress in a different context. I think. Um. Uh, like, yeah, like I, I probably would, I probably would have been able, uh, like, I mean, I don't know, just, it's, it's so weird that they do the, they do the Lady Loki thing, and then they do that with it for some reason, instead of doing what people would actually wanted, which is just, just, which is, which is, which is just, uh, have Loki freely, really change genders, that's just, that's their thing in the comics. thing in the comics would have been cool would have been like would've... i would i would have appreciated it. yeah they do this lame okay what am i getting roast duck pie Okay, need some duck. I might have some duck in the storeroom. Love how, love how the quest here is like, okay, you've taken pictures of every single animal in this area. Now it's time to cook them. Naturally. I mean, gen gender fluid is gender fluid is is trans. Your gender fluid or trans is. Do I not have the right type of duck? Do I not have enough? No, that's fine. Um... I've not... Uh, oh wait, Alan Cumming is uh, the one from The Mask too. Son of the Mask, that one? 
Because if so, yes. But also no, because I blocked it out. It's 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 been it's it's it is a repressed memory, but yes. <laughs> yes, but actually no, but yes. Uh I'm gonna don't I have what's wrong what's wrong with the duck breast I have? I have duck breast. Do I have not do I not have the right duck breast? I'm confused. Uh, right duck breast? I'm confused. Is the game freaking out on me? Is the game glitching out on me? What's going on? Try the kitchen out here, and I'm just like gonna take more duck breasts. There's different types of duck breast. Guess I'll just take them all. I'll just take them all. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, I have the right- I have the correct kind. it later. I'll eat it now. There we go. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks as always. A uh, warm red fox and radish borscht. And she implies you should make it yourself, but I wonder if you can't go out and buy it. Because uh, getting getting uh, fox meat is significantly more difficult than anything else she's asked asked to do. Foxes fucking fight back. Uh, plus I wonder if I can just <laughs> let's see can I cheat it or do I have to specifically make it myself <laughs> I will find out in a second Also, my stats are pretty much maxed out. I'm afraid if I eat anything else, I'll get a two by accident. I right. know. doesn't have it. I need milk and I need hey. box meat. If neither of them have it, then I really do have to go on my own and make it. I know I know uh this guy over here has has milk. He has milk. find let's see if I can find another uh oh the red fox okay I'll try and find a merchant or we'll just fight a fox and we'll just go for it let's 
go see. Pretty close. Three more days. Three more days, and we'll have found. We'll have. Uh, we'll have made it. <laughs> we'll have made it back to the plot. what I need to actually try. Oh, look. Also, Naomi looks upset, so I think our stress is kind of high from all that teleporting. Let's see. What you got, my guy? He's got all the fish. I remember. first time I've seen her face change, so you must have actually managed to do something with her stress level that time. I feel like nothing- I feel like no matter what we've done, her face- her expression hasn't changed. It's almost kind of neat to me. There are so many health systems. Like, more than a- more than even your average survival horror game. Okay, identical old man. What do you got? Uh, not what I'm looking for. No, I'm starting to think we just have to hunt for our own box. Box. Go off the beat. Ooh, I think if we go a little higher, we're guaranteed to go a little further. Oh, wait, no. Actually, aren't there some in the caves here? There's some in the cave. Oh. Got a good amount of health. I could probably top up top up on a little more. Making some salad. Point is, I, I'm, 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 I can, I think I can take them. I think I can take them. I got enough salad ingredients to feel afterwards. I thought there was somewhere up here. Thought. Hmm. Wrong? Or... It's not spawning for...
Yeah, maybe they do only. I think, I think some foxes. Not these ones. I think I know another place where they're guaranteed to come during. Oh. You see, wait, you saw them though? Oh, it was no. Oh. You saw the red. I thought so too for a second. Stinky, the shopkeeper hate me. I think if I go to the lake, I'm more guaranteed. There's not even the badgers like to harass me. And they're gone. Check by the lake. Badgers harass me. Yes. And I'm pretty sure. I think there's a fox that hangs around the hangs around one of the ruins nearby. It's just the one, so I think it's a little easier to get. I believe. <laughs> yeah, see, there it is. Okay, I'm a little nervous. So bad. No, no damage. Look at that. Look at that. No damage. No damage. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna try and use the shrine this time to teleport because uh, Naomi's looking pretty pissed at me. I keep on making her psychically displace herself without the use of uh, external magic. Even though it's wasting a lot of money fast. Susie, it's, it's the biggest, it, I swear, it's the biggest invisible money drain. But we'll see. Try and make it. Oh, and we have to try again if I mess up. There's like a non zero chance. Okay, success. Good. Perfect. It's floating. It's so good, it's ethereal. Oh, thank you for the sub, you versus death. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, oh, we're as finishing always. up our side quests here. Okay, De Red Deer Sunday Road. Red Deer. Oh gosh, how do we fight a red deer? Like, that's not gonna go over well. We're gonna get our ass kicked. Oh no. Game wants me to die. Oh, 
It really is. This game wants me to die. It wants me to perish. Literally. Well. I know where to find the deer. Let's go for it, I guess. Nothing left to do. Seriously, I'm a little afraid of what's going to happen if I decide to challenge a deer. You have to go to the... Un... Forest. Going out here. Yeah, the, de the, the deer shaw forest. Yeah, it's gonna be a bad idea. I'm gonna get my shit wrecked. Good thing I have a bunch of money in the bank, so that way the doctor can't take too much from me. All I can really do is go as the dog and go for it. Oh, we can also get some money and some uh, sellable goods <laughs> if we dig up some stuff. dig up anything or maybe ah. what do I got large animal theme great just what I want we are almost to the new moon we are so close We are quite close. Animal two. But no fossil. Those are the money makers. I like how you can just kinda run by sometimes to, to like to like pick something up. It's convenient. Oh it's always good right. Go. I'm a little scared. Oh gosh, it's so big! How do I survive this? Oh no. Okay, well, time to go for it. I haven't even managed to hit it. Oh shit. This rocked my shit. Okay, yep. Oh no, he's coming after me. He's coming after me. Bite it in the ass. There's like almost no time to run, really. Deer felt? Fuck. That's not what I needed. No! Okay, I guess all I can do is... Oh gosh, I'm really low on health. Okay, that's what salads are for. It's what salads are for. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll try again. Like, seriously, that thing rocked... Oh, wow. How? I don't even know how you dodge again. Yeah, baby! I can't... There's a tea shop. I don't know if that'll do anything, but I see a kitchen up 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 a little further. I'll try either I'll try either one. Naomi's like very, very mad about this. Very displeased. Try the t-shirt. Try the remote tea shop. Might have something for health. Hello. Not particular. Okay. Go with some salad then. Salad it is. We have a very nice goat. 
A very nice steed. At least once it's managed to launch itself off a cliff and uh that was pretty neat haven't managed to do it since i want i want to keep on trying this is funny okay i need salad stat salad quickly I'm stuffed no uh they're not gonna do it might not do it Woo! well it did that ah uh, guess it doesn't okay I swear, I can't quite understand some of the stats. So it's that's. I guess my I guess my bad was. It's like sardine will help. It's like sardine will help. I'm really confused. I think my main confusion is that so uh, stamina is hearts while health is like the little two arms holding up stick figure person. And it's and it, it's so it's so it's such a weird way to put it, right? You feel like it should be the other way around just because in video games hearts are always health, right? When has hearts been when has hearts been anything other than health? What that still didn't do anything? But it said that it- oh my god, I literally- and I- I don't understand when food does or does not actually improve that. I have eaten things that have improved my health, but this time it's like, no, it's not going to. Some of the- some of- some of it is just a little confusing. I gotta say, instead I have all these, like, all these, like, uh, max health and max- max stat boosters right now, but nothing that actually helps me. I just don't quite get it. I don't quite get it. Um, instead, I'm just stuck guessing and... Yeah, I don't know. I think I just have to come back later. I have to come back later. Yeah, it didn't heal me. I'm gonna try. Maybe I can go to sleep. I'll heal a little bit. I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Pass the time some. Do you make Naomi a little happier? I think I just need medicine. Naomi's like very Naomi's incredibly pissed. That hasn't that hasn't changed. Um Naomi's incredibly in Oh yeah, she Damn it. she's very pissed off. <sighs> I'm not even sure what caused it outside of just too much teleportation. I'm not really sure how to how to fix it now that it's been now that it's been uh, raised up because I'm not sure I, this, this like hasn't happened before. Pretty Ooh. unsure of what to do, what to do about. It. Um. I think next in-game day is gonna be. Uh. Yeah. Let's. Try some. That's another three hours. And I'll check out the doctor and I'll check out. Uh. 
uh, affect. This is past little time, so they're. Wanted me to look at to get anyway was Red Deer Sunday Roast. I think you can get somewhere. Uh, somewhere. In It looks like the tea does some stress relief. Let me let me do a little bit of that. Let's just down a bunch of tea, as much tea as possible. There we go. I think alcohol also does the trick. There we go. That did it. Now she's as happy as a fucking peach. Look at her. Hey. There. Sunday roast. But that's not the red deer Sunday roast. Oh wait, no, there it is. Wonder if that'll wonder wonder if I have to cook it myself or if or if I can cheat. That improved my health. Look at that. Well, if it well if that doesn't count, then I can at least if that doesn't count. Then I can at the very least uh extra energy on try with the deep. I have a lot of extra energy. Right now. Does count then yay <laughs> then yay. Uh, one step closer to the quest ending. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I mean when I say uh, you never quite know how uh, something is going to affect your health. I have yet to figure it out any. But let's see. That worked. Okay. <laughs> Storebot is Thanks okay, actually. Storebot is okay. And that was the end of that. Looks like that was the end of that little quest line. Uh, which means all that's really left to do is... Um, Uh, I, I think, I think now is maybe a good time to get that, uh, to get that pudding. I don't know if tonight's gonna be a new moon. I'm not sure. I haven't been paying full attention to the, to the, to the moon clock to quite figure that out, but it might be. So, just in case, I'll get one now. It's perfectly worth it, even if I end up losing it. Okay. Just in case, though, I have it. Let's go back home. Let's pass some time, and let's see if that didn't, see if it doesn't work. Um, I think nine hours should do. We have catnip pudding. It's gonna enable us to kidnap a child. I'm never going to get over that. What the fuck? Game? What the fuck? <clears throat> so it's got three hours. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. One more night. I'm just gonna keep on passing the time.
Okay, I'm just gonna keep on passing the time. I'm gonna buy it again. Pass the time again. <laughs> Because a creepy Pokemon villain told me to kidnap a child, and the game is railroading me into doing it. It might still be there. I might still have a chance to eat it. That doesn't go to waste. Nope, despawned. save in a second just in case something goes wrong i don't want to have to redo this whole cycle again yeah, baby. like if for some reason the pudding yeah, despawns because i was supposed to not wait because i was supposed to wait until like noon or something to get it then uh uh that that'd be terrible <laughs> get auto save Again. Sure. Three hours. Get the cutscene? No. I would like to enter combat with that guy, but it's literally not yet. It's it's not letting me. It's not letting me. Not gonna let me. I don't think it's a full moon. I don't think it's a new moon quite. This is gonna be like. Oh, it despawned. Fast. Ah. It's like already despawned. Huh. So how do I make sure that it don't do that? I, gotta, I think I gotta like time it right. Maybe going to sleep is what's causing it. I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna do an experiment. If maybe that's the case. Oh, why am I getting... Do an experiment. I'm gonna make something. And I'm gonna sleep for three hours. Let's test both. Let's, let's let's go in and out. See if that does anything. Okay, so it's still there. When you just reload the map, when you re when you reload the map, it's still. There. I'm afraid my results might be biased because it's gonna it's gonna be gonna pass t um okay I have to time right then okay yeah it looks like going to sleep does it so I have to not I have to I have to get this I have to get the pudding and I have to not go to sleep that's what I have to do. So it is currently uh, around that time, around 2, 2 p.m. 2 a.m. I mean. Um, Dave, again, just in case I have to redo this. Okay, so nine hours. And then the key is I have to not go to sleep. Uh, let's go another six hours. Oh, but it's not three. not three hours. Three hours in case the guy closes early. Oh, plus it auto saved. Plus it auto saved. I don't like that. It auto saved. It auto saved. Okay. okay. 
not be closed. Auto save. I have to sleep through another week, I swear. No, he's in there. He's in there. Okay. Okay, so we have pudding. We have pudding. Like I said, that does give us an, a new a new chance. Another chance. We have pudding. We have pudding in our possession. Put it on Miss Jan's table here. And I guess we just waste some time for a little bit. We can't go to sleep to pass the time. The, the game said no, don't do that. The game said no, actually don't do that though. Oh, really? Okay, well let's try that. Let's see if I have a book. Or I could buy a book. I could purchase a book. Guess we'll see. Pudding is still there. Pudding is still there. Yes, good. Okay, let's pass the time again. One more book. Ah! Uh, that last quest is close. I can feel it. Yes, and they're all cats now. Yep. They're all cats and dogs now and we can hand over the pudding. Perfect. Okay. Yes, good. I see St. Bernard right over there. Oh, that's what I was talking about. He's huge. Big boy, big boy, big boy. Time to kidnap a child. I hate this. Well done. Leave the rest to me. Well done, huh? Am I really doing the right thing? So planning. Once my debt gets paid off, I can finally escape this hellhole. I just did what I had to, okay? Yeah, I was an accessory to murder, but like. <laughs> So what, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jail for life now. So what? It's fine. Pokemon villain we were talking about. Power of this is him. This is him. Really cross between a Pokemon villain and a Psychonauts villain. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in between there. <laughs> Can you possibly comprehend the full scope of how incredible this is, subhuman? He says, oh, I knew this was a bad idea. We're even doing all these tests anyway. So? Why? Swine. Subhuman, did you, did you just question the purpose of my experiments? Mm, yes, yes, you know I happen to thoroughly enjoy subhumans of your ilk. Which, which, by the way, this guy canonically, in an, in a, according to an email, uh, basically has a couple sexual harassment allegations that are currently getting settled out of court. <laughs> which, mm, 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 fair, fair, on brand, perhaps. In fact, mm, yes, yes, you know I happen to, yeah. Uh, allow me to, allow me to explain exactly what purpose these tests will. Serve. I'll begin by showering all other all the other subhumans a video by showing all other subhumans a video of my Trinity Incredibilis Ray, transforming people into dogs and cats. And I will have psychology experts spread the word on how this phenomenon is good for your health. Lastly, I'll have all those rotten lawyers draft up a policy that will my entire operation legally watertight. <laughs> Hardly a trifle when I I mean, I don't think that's like how lawyers work. I don't think you can just like I mean, like, if you have enough money, I guess, yeah, you can probably pay a, pay a lawyer to do whatever you want. 
uh, specifically, is it is it this guy's whole problem that he ran out of funding? <laughs> That's why he's working for a newspaper now, because he like ran out of funding from all legitimate sources. <laughs> yeah, how 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 much money how much money does this guy even have access to? Just be paying off lawyers. I don't think like that. I don't think like that much. I don't think enough to cover up <laughs> to cover up like murder and kidnapping. I don't think. I don't, I don't think <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a couple echelons higher of money to, to, to get to that point. Um, hardly a trifle when I think of all the subhumans will happily line up to hand over their hard-earned money. Nope. Yeah, right. People will catch on to a scam like that in no time and bury your ass in all kinds of accusations and attacks. Ridiculous. Imbecile. Why would I ever want to avoid that? In fact, I'm going to make sure I encourage the hate. I'm going to use my Trinity and Credibilis Ray to transform all the subhumans in this town into cats and dogs. Then I'm going to stream it live on the internet as a miraculous new treatment that could save your life. Seriously? I mean, you don't have to, like, go that far, my guy. If you just say, like, this Ray will turn you into a dog, you're already going to have people that want it. So it's like... Like, I mean, I mean, like, ten-year-olds, furries, people who are really into the warrior cats, aka, aka furries... <laughs> Uh, if you do that, all the subhumans out there who will think they're so smart and clever will watch my stream and say, It's fake, it's so obvious, ban this, that asshole's account. But then another group of subhumans who are willing to grasp at any in order to sustain, to sustain their health will rise up and say, They're trying to, yeah, furries will pay a lot of money for anything. <laughs> furries will pay money for anything. <laughs> Have you seen Deviant Art Commission prices these days? Have you seen how much it costs to, to, to commission a fursuit? They, they, they have a lot of disposable income. They all work in like the tech industry. They have so much disposable They have way too much. They're trying to cancel this revolutionary new medical treatment. It's a conspiracy run by power-hungry cooperations. You really think that... You really think it'll go that smoothly? <laughs> of course it will. How could subhumans react any other way? And the subhumans who, whose excess funds are burning the biggest holes in their pockets will rise up and say, Okay, furries, good thing he knows, good thing he's aware. Those bigoted hicks out in the countryside actually try to keep this miraculous new treatment secret from the rest of us. If something that, am that amazing really exists, then I deserve to have first dibs on it, because I've got the money to pay for it. <laughs> and once they succeeded in, de in deleting my video and my account... They will inadvertently prove the conspiracy theory was true. Subhumans who wish to wish to try this new medical treatment will instantly start registering the moment I reveal my new face. I mean, this is my problem, right? He's like relying on a specific fringe group of people, and it's and it's and it's like and it's like okay, you know, you know, fair. Let's let's say let's say he manages get, to get in the conspiracy theory crowd, and they decide to pay, right? Like, but just here's the thing: I'd argue that there are more furries than conspiracy theorists. And then you wouldn't have to trick the furries. You'd have you you'd just be honest with it and say this turns you into a dog. They're like, cool, I'm in. That'd be it. That'd be it. They they they'd be like, yep, yep, in, in. No questions asked. In. You wouldn't have to trick them. You have to do all this stuff and like all this subter subterfuge. It'd be it'd all be unnecessary. You, you'd probably get more customers that way. Subhumans who wish to try this new medical treatment. Will yeah, okay. Uh, Morning Bell's news stocks will skyrocket. And my research funds will multiply infinitely. <laughs> and in the end, my research team will go down in history forever. Mean worry, I am a fair man. I will ensure all who cooperate with me attain their own peace, peace of the glory. Rejoice, subhuman. Your name will also be recorded in the great book of scientific history. Hell if I care. <laughs> <laughs> His plan is like so convoluted. Huh. It's so convoluted. Hmm. It's kind of insane. Um. Oomst. Mic test. Mic test. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, it appears there isn't much lag. Huh. Good. I think that satellite connection was worth it. Worth its exorbitant price, after all. Of course it was. You expect a modern scientist to go on researching in a primitive region that lacks internet access? Well, good to know he managed to kill two birds with one stone. 
Now I want you to silence yourself for a moment. Wait, what if I can do? What if I can do like? Ooh, ooh, can I? Can I pull out a voice? Can I? Can I? Can I? It'd be something like. Well, good to know that we managed to kill two birds with one stone. Now I want you to silence yourself for a moment, Nicholas. It's very nice to make your acquaintance now, me Hayward. I'm Flora Kelly, CEO of Morning Bell News. Oh, so you're the big boss? In that case, I got something to say to you. This mad science to yours has no concept of what human rights are. He's nuts. Everything that's, everything that's gone on in this little lab of his is a total compliance nightmare. Is your entire HRS team asleep at the wheel? Mm, yes, that all sounds very complicated. <sighs> and... And... How could you ever sign off on any of this bullshit? Listen here, my little idealistic journalist. Huh. What do you think it's what do you think is necessary in order to uphold human rights? Well, uh the well <clears throat> Well, uh, the Constitution, laws, activist groups, and stop what? How naive <laughs> Money is all you need to uphold human rights. And so we make as much money as we can and pay taxes as we are legally obligated to. Huh. And then the government uses that money to protect the human rights of all the other people in the whole wide world. The modern people like us, stocks with long-term growth are far more important than short-sighted human rights problems. But the more time passes, the more global our world becomes. How many of the 196 countries in our world do you think are seriously worried about human rights issues? <laughs> in the modern world, human rights are minor league products with a very low profit margins. Arr. Now, is that the only direct appeal you have for your CEO, Ms. The Journalistic Justice Warrior? Huh. In that case, I'll leave the rest to Lucy. Lucy, if you would be so kind. Huh? But I thought Lucy was supposed to be over here. What? You actually thought she'd be physically traveling with them? How, how awfully antiquated of you. It's eight hours from JK to Heathrow. Then another aid from Heathrow to Rainy Woods. Huh. Talk about a waste of time. Bye now. <laughs> I, I have to do the anime MILF laugh. I have to do this. <laughs> She's... She looks pretty normal. What do I do a voice for her? She looks pretty normal. I don't know. Um, is this our first time doing a video chat? Um, wait, no. I'll just do that. Um, this is our first time doing a video chat, isn't it? Hi there, it's me, Lucy Turner, special correspondent for Division 2 for the CEO's office at Morning Bell News. You know, Lucy, I have to admit, I never imagined your company was this bad. Now I'd like to begin by going over the current schedule. First tomorrow morning. For that, Lucy, answer one question for me. Are you on their side too? Mm-mm. Miss Hayward, I'm afraid I don't understand your question. Unless you have any other pressing matters, I'd like to return to the task at hand. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> I really like that story you sent me. And what about Dick Whittington and his cat? Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Now then, back to the schedule. Uh... And Lucy betrayed me. How could I have been so stupid? I need to do something. I can't let them get away with this. I know. I'll just tell everyone in town what's going on and get them to help me out. End of the line. And perfect. Everyone's cured now. Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's uh, not a dog. We have to talk to everyone. Hey. Out to here, you. Please just don't talk to me. Oh wow, okay. They're like, fuck off, fuck- They're like... Oh gosh. Uh, I'm gonna guess they already know what's had, what's going on and they blame you for it. Oh. Get lost. Boy, get out of here. Hey, got a minute? Nice. I've lost all faith in you, Private Hayward. You better make yourself scarce. I get the feeling you're not flavor of the month around here anymore, Naomi. Yeah, no, we we have four, five. 
Don't worry, though. They're not mean enough to take the house away from you. Rising. So if you get a bit peckish or need a nap, you can still head home. Not sure I'd recommend it, but Dr. Anderson might even give you some food if you're desperate. You just charge me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Oh, they got the epic music. Hey, so, so when do you think we'll be you? getting out of our hair? Ooh. Yeah, all shops are closed now, I guess. I guessed as much. What's with this song suddenly? It's 2000. This is great. Yo, you want to be... You ended up being more of a prat than I thought you for- than I took you for. I got- I fucked it up. I fucked up the place, it's fine. Only one shop open? Check by your house? Huh. I mean, I guess with the- with the- with the early PC game aesthetic. Not early PC, like... You know, you know, you know what era I'm talking about. Hey, broke your poor auntie's little heart. Shoo, shoo, away with you. Oh my gosh. Vicar, how easily we crumble under the devil's temptations. I'm gonna go cat. Kind of amazing. Okay, let's check out with him. Um, I have nothing to say to you. You best leave as soon as you're able. They really, they really, uh, they really went with this. They really went with this song, huh? Got a minute? With you. You're still here? I'd bake him myself from the premises if I were you. It is a title drop. Living the good life. As as we said. Okay, one more person. Oh no, don't you dare talk to me, you revolting little worm. Oh yeah, song ended at just the perfect time, too. Lobster? Lobster! 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 Lobster, man! You're the last person I want to see right now. Hey, what's your game? How am I the last person? There ain't anyone out there out there who can do a cooler pose than me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't seem yourself today, yuppie. Here you got what it takes to be out here. Here you got what it takes to keep on keeping on out there. Oh, I know. I'm gonna take a picture so you can just you can see just how much of a loser you look like today. <laughs> 
whatever you want. Damn, something's really got you down. I me thinking about quitting the newspaper business. I might be just right. What's that? Huh? What did you say? Make a talentless scrub like you could ever make a living doing anything other anything other than smithing words? You still have that big ass debt, don't you? How could you throw away the only good thing you got going for you? I don't want to, but uh. enough whimpering already. Just tell me what happened, Yuppie. I'll, I'll give you a little counseling session for free just this once. <sighs> well, you see. <laughs> Served you right, Benedict Arnold. No, I deserve it, okay? You don't need to rub it in. Hey, what's your game? You don't get it, dummy. I'm not trying to ostracize you. What? I'm still being kind to you, even if you don't freaking deserve it. What's that? Come on. You stole shit and even kidnapped people. If you were anywhere else, you'd already be in the can by now. Not a single one of them turned you in, right? They just told you to leave. Oh. It took you long enough. Now that you figured it out, you know what you really need to do, right? Yeah, I need to stop mourning Belle. You need to take responsibility for what happened and stop those assholes. Otherwise, I'll just be accepting the death of journalism. Social media gave everyone the ability to become a news source themselves. Without justice, the, new the news business will crumble like a pillar of dust. We're real pros. We need to use the power of the news to stop evil from screwing everything up. Uh, just how stupid are ya? Think that shit has anything to do with being a real pro? Oh, right. Still a pretty good speech, though. I don't usually say this, but it brought a little tear to my eye. A, a tiny itty bitty one, but still. <laughs> out of respect for that wicked speech of yours, I think I might just help you out with this one, yuppie. Daniel, really? Hey, what's your game? A friggin' shout ahead. It's still too early to be thanking me. We can't clean up the whole mess by ourselves now. Find someone in town to help out. Got any ideas, yuppie? Someone in town who's willing to help out. Uh... A witch? Damn, you've got some weird connection. Oh, so I'm guessing this is the one shop that it'd still sell to you. You're a daft one, ain't you? No, I know, so just let me start off by apologizing. I'm really, really sorry. Mm. No need to apologize, sweetheart. I already figured out just how foolish that silly little head of yours was. I'm happy to see that you feel a little, at least a little guilty for what you did. <laughs> so I'll forgive you. <laughs> Thanks, I owe you one, Granny. <laughs> oh, Anderson set up, set up a store? Okay. Yo, ladies like her in San Francisco all the time. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's not. No, no. Incorrect. Incorrect. Not canon. I see old ladies like her in San Francisco all the time. We're good friends with some of them, too. All right, Lucy, it's meeting time. Lucy, but she's... Come on, yuppie, don't tell me you didn't notice. Huh? Notice what? Lucy mes mentioned the, the Dick Whittington story to ya? Now that you mention it, she, she did. That's a story about the guy who made... Who made... You cool bucks thanks to, thanks to his cat and used it all for charity, right? So, that Lucy's trying to say. There's a way to use Morning Bell's evil plans to do some good, you idiot! It was all a code! Ain't that right, Lucy? Yes, Daniel, that's exactly what I meant. Deep down, you knew you could still trust me. Right, Naomi? Yeah, of course I did. Uh, I was like, yep, that's my Lucy. I knew I could always count on her. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> I'm glad to see that your spirits have been lifted a bit, Naomi. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now, let's get down to business. Before I begin, I'd just like to make one thing clear. I don't think that physically stopping the streets will get us anywhere. Mm -mm. After they deal with us, they'll just try and do the same thing again. Then we need to make sure that their plans ends up benefiting us instead. They know that the stream will incite criticism, and they even work that into their plan, but what if it ends up inciting more backlash than they're prepared to handle? We can utilize that to get the people on our side. It makes sense, but how the hell are we gonna do something like that? Also, this guy's, uh, this guy's... This guy's a desktop. Secret one, secret two, secret three, and lobster in all caps. That is a little too good. Um, imagine what would happen if they fired the ray at the town. 
when they were already transformed. <laughs> Strange laser beam fired at people, dogs and cats, and nothing happens. What would people think? <laughs> Damn, that's wicked smart, Lucy. They're gonna lose their shit. Just think about it. A huge news agency streaming, nail streaming animal abuse. Live. And Morning Bell's been advertising the Trinity Incredibilis Ray as some miraculous new medical technology or whatever. So if they fire it and it just fizzles out, they'll get torn apart even more for faking everything. All the power of luck. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Feel free to watch the VOD back because I think we're gonna be able to finish the game tonight. And tomorrow we're doing some drawing. So uh, stay tuned. Um... I don't know, though. I think there are a few problems with this plan. I mean, what if Dr. Asshole decides to fire the ray at human beings? Yeah. I can interfere with the streaming plan to show cute puppies if you want to keep watching watching through the experiment. That'll force him to fire the ray at cats and dogs to keep the public's attention. True. Good night, power of luck. <laughs> that should work. It's batshit crazy, but it should work. Maybe think of another problem, though. Morning Bell is this big-ass global corporation, right? Once we get a boatload of people to watch this animal abuse video, it ain't gonna get any traction. Well, use Flamingo. Naomi has around 15... Naomi has around 150,000 followers, and Daniel has around 90,000. I'll have our own... I'll have our marketing team work on boosting those numbers even further. Neither of them will be able to upload it. Photos on to Flamingo while we're working on this. <laughs> but until the day of the stream, I'll make sure both accounts attain international notoriety. Seriously? You people can really do that? Oh, jeez. All right, then. Last question. How do we make sure nothing happens when the ray gets fired? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Hmm. We'll need everyone's help to solve this one. First, we need to make sure the device can't be used until the stream begins. Uh, they're using vampire's blood to power that trinity. What's it, right? <laughs> That's simple. We'll just guzzle it all down before the stream starts. Yes. Sounds good. Best of luck. Vampire's blood is ultra rare whiskey, right? <laughs> I honest, I'm gonna be honest. I imagine her voice is more. I, I have a hard. I'll have. I'd have a hard time doing. It. I, I imagine her voice is more like <coughs> more like this, like or like like years and years of of of, of smoking cigarillos and just ruined, just ruined her throat probably. <laughs> That's what I'd like to imagine. Uh, sounds like a job for me. I'm not gonna let you youngsters show me up here. You know, I was thinking. Yeah, I'm really glad Lucy's on our side. It does have sound. It does, it does, it does add up. Okay. You mean, I get to drink all the alcohol as part of a quest? <gasps> Sign me up. Do I have to come in at night? Or can I just go now? Okay, I think it was somewhere over here where I managed to. Yeah, baby. It was like somewhere. It was. It was somewhere around here though. Some super jumps. I wonder. Yeah, baby. There we go. That's a. That's a little bit of a jump. Not a big one. Uh. Okay, let's see. Might have to return at night. If so, house is right there. Swine! Get lost. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Come back at night. Time to go to sleep. Ask the... catch up on all that sleep we didn't get at the beginning of the game.
Sleepy has a one-of-a-kind food item. Okay. Oh, milk biscuit. Oh, it really is. Apparently, it, it, uh, it really leaves you full. Yeah, baby! Now let's go. Now let's go late night binge drink. Hey, Vicar, want to help me out? Favorite. <laughs> no greater motivator than a free brew. Don't tell me that's the only thing you're after, Grandma. Haven't you ever heard the phrase "all's well that ends well"? <laughs> now shut up and get guzzling. <laughs> I'm gonna drink you under the table. Are you ready, sweetheart? Seriously? You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Bring it on, drink queen. <laughs> Bring queen. Okay, so this, this is of course a mini game now. ones where they're required Jeez. for the story are significantly easier, aren't they? I mean, maybe there's more steps to this, but... Laughing to herself like a psychopath. Yeah. How did you drink that much whiskey? How do you manage that? How is how is your blood is just whiskey? Your your you've you've turned your blood to whiskey. I can't give up here. I'm so close. Yeah, I mean I just need to drink a little bit more. Naomi, I think you might be underselling it slightly. I know it seems like a waste, but maybe you should just chuck the vampire's blood out. Sheesh this at once. Every drop of alcohol is a drop of his blood. Such blasphemy you is all you and mankind. Going away to the sacred waters. I won't allow it. What? Where did you come from? Where there is alcohol, there is God. And where there is God, there is your Vicar. Okay. I am They were. Yet I struggle to look on you. I know I. It's gonna be tiring to do it. I'm gonna get normal. I know I did something bad. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I also. Apology. For only trying to do what you thought was right. I must accept that fact. Therefore, I must purify my sins with the power of this holy water. Huh? Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. Holy shit, he's really hammering it down. Thanks, Vicar. We might just get through this in time. Well, the Vicar, like, no, 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 no. That's not how you drink whiskey. This is how you drink whiskey. Damn drunk just can't help himself. Reminds me of that story I heard about 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 um a lady going to an airport with with, with like a bottle of uh of, of rum. Turns out that she's not allowed to bring that in unless it's empty. So uh, she chugs it right there at airport security, just right in front of them. Like absolute mad woman. What a legend. Did it too. I mean, internet story, so grain of salt, right? But. All right, here we go. <laughs> you nervous, yuppie? I don't know. It sort of feels like I'm just watching all this play out from behind a screen or something. <laughs> a little late for that, don't you think? Anyway, check this out. I'm wondering where my choice comes in. The good or life choice. That's my Flamingo account. Seriously? Holy crap, three million followers? I've never seen a number that big before. 
matter what weird shit you may be, flo may be floating around in your mind right now, there ain't no turning back, yuppie. Yeah. Got it? Let's head out to the square. You're the official photographer of the state of the streaming event, remember? <laughs> Showtime, sister. Get out there and act like you're ready to do your job. I know, I know. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna let you in on a real journalist's secret to, su secret to success. If you get to the point where you're thinking, oh no, I'm screwed. That's really gotta shine. In that moment, all you need to do is... Nope. I'm not doing the lobster pose. Uh, why are you sorry, Mozzie? I'm getting concerned. Why are you sorry? What are you sorry about? Lobster! What are you sorry about? I am concerned. What's going on? According to a press report released from the Morning Bell News, the massive, the, the massive media conglomerate based on New York City at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Uh, GMT tonight. Fuck. I know, I, know, I, know what, I know what GMT means. I don't remember what it stands for off the top. They plan to make a shock, shocking, world-changing announcement <sighs> from the small town of Rainy Woods located in North England. Details have not yet been made clear, but the press report states the following. Up until this morning, the insular, the insular rural town of Rainy Woods has kept a miraculous therapy technique all to themselves. Thanks to the efforts of Morning Bell's research team, this technique has been rediscovered using scientific, te scientific technology. Rumors are current, current, rumors are current circulating on, currently circulating online due to a leak that states this therapy has the power to cure late-stage cancer. If this is true, it means the people of Rainy Woods... <sighs> have used tradition as an excuse to stand by and watch thousands of cancer victims die. In response to this, a pediatric cancer specialist commented, claiming this to be inexcusable from any ethical perspective. Other late-stage cancer specialists have also shared similar statements of disapproval. This gave birth to the open to the hashtag OpenRW movement that is currently escalating on the internet. As we speak, debates continue to rage concerning whether or not late-stage cancer treatment is actually possible. Meanwhile, a massive piece of graffiti art has been spotted on the wall of a hospital in Rainy Woods, Arkansas. <sighs> Rainy Woods, Arkansas. The movement is showing no signs of quieting down, and some fear bigger problems are already on the horizon. Does the miraculous treatment treatment technique that hails from Rainy Woods act actually have the power to cure late-stage cancer? Mm. Countless eyes from all over the world are now focused on this quaint little town. Okay, Mozzie, the way you said I'm sorry, you have not explained yourself yet. I am concerned. <laughs> We're 30 minutes out. Hurry, you miserable subhumans. I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna you're gonna refuse to tell me until the game's over. <laughs> this ain't good. We're in deep trouble here, sweetheart. Think about it. We end up drinking all the vampires' blood. Uh, yeah, I know that was the plan, wasn't it? Take a chill pill, Granny. No, that's what. That's not what I mean. That me. Think about it. Really think that means the bottle's empty right Seriously? now. Seriously? Uh, mm. Ah. Really, it's only thanks to the great, to the good grace of the Lord, the Lord on high, that we haven't been found out by now. Oh, what should we do? <laughs> Don't panic. We just need to fill the keg back up, right? Indeed, we simply need to fall to fill the the bottle back up with fake vampires. <laughs> Buy some then. Go call that mad scientist over here. So basically, those two are the ones that have been controlling the entire town of Rainy Woods from the shadows. If you want to keep experimenting here, it's definitely in your best interest to, to introduce yourself to them. Hmm? Those two lesser subhumans. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. First things first. Let's give you a proper welcome. A toast, if you will. Got the holiest of God's waters with us. Come, let us raise it. You lost your mind. But the stream is about to begin. Mm. What? But I heard that beer is practically like water to you, Americans. <laughs> Not to worry, I got some of the good gin tucked away around here somewhere. Practically watered us. <laughs> so be it. I happen to be using supplements to strengthen my liver. Behold my you genius. think this swill could get me drunk? Feast your eyes on the power of science, subhumans. You keep, like, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, we actually managed to stop him right in his tracks. How are we going to stop swapping the fake vampire's blood? Naomi. Have you forgotten your training in the mountains? 
You're the one that made the massive beanstalk grow, remember? I have to piss in it. If, if that's why you were sorry, I kind of started suspecting that the second they were like, oh no, the bottle's empty. We have to fill it with a liquid. I was like, no. I don't know what that is. Are piss in the bottle? I would have been more surprised if we weren't if we weren't pissing in the bottle. Way more surprised. Now there's no time to think. I'm just gonna have to do it. Swine! Oh no. Do I have to redo it? Swine! <laughs> okay, redo, redo, redo quest. Try again. <laughs> We're gonna try again. Okay, Metal Metal Gear Solid mission now, I guess. Okay. Sorry to interrupt all the mirth, but Dr. Anderson, it's about time to go. One and one, one and one wouldn't want you to have to interrupt the stream for a bathroom break. You should probably take care of it now. Ridiculous. Imbecile, I've already taken a supplement that boosts my bladder control. <laughs> so long, lesser subhumans. Huh? How'd it go? What's up? Oh, there's no need to worry. I'm sure that Ms. Hayward employed her mercurial wit to think of the perfect solution. No. Nope. Um... Not sure I would describe it so eloquently, but just trust me. <laughs> There's no way the Trinity and Credibilis Ray is going to work now. <laughs> uh, that means we could just sit back and watch it all come tumbling down. <laughs> yeah, time for us to see just what sort of mess this stream ends up as. I'm a little worried that her peel still have traces. I'm worried, I'm worried it'll still have traces of, of, the, of the of the vampire's blood. This will all be subhuman rabble of the world. Listen up. Rejoice, for you are about to witness a miraculous new form of medical treatment. In your wildest dreams, or even perhaps your darkest nightmares, you miserable creatures could never possibly imagine the phenomenon you're about to witness today. But in order for you subhumans to fully understand the importance of the experiment, I'm You'll find out probably the only, the, the least realistic thing so far that we've come across was the fact that Dr. no Anderson, scientist questioned, that, like, there were, like, literally radiologists, over and, um, fate. not radiologists. They, 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 they said, like, the cancer burned. specialist, I can't remember the name of the book exactly. Um, hmm. that, they, that they were well, like, how dare they keep this treatment from us? But it's Suppose like, usually no these guys are really skeptical skin. whenever you present stuff like Pay this. close attention, insects of the world. This cure. very moment, Nicholas Anderson is going to change the future of the human race. Behold the power of science. Hmm. That's odd. Uh, allow me to increase the output. Ha! What a shambles. They outdid themselves with the spectacle. But it was all a hollow pretense. Also, who the killed Elizabeth? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could see this. Wait a minute. Under who killed Elizabeth, though? Is Why is that still not been answered? Who killed Elizabeth, though? What's going on? Wait a minute. You guys tricked me. This isn't the main plot I was concerned about. Who killed Elizabeth, though? 
dreadful. What is that man doing? This is. I, was like, I just like remembered. I remembered the main plot suddenly. Love. Mr. White. You're the resident expert on Rainy Woods' history, right? Is it true this dinky little town has been I hiding much got a miraculous his accent cure right. for late I mean, I don't know if I got an actor. The world? But the idea, I, I, oh, the spirit was there. Only, then my beloved Avon would still be here with me right now. It's a lie? Nothing but a big fat lie? I'm afraid I'm far too old to have the energy to entertain such hearsay. But what I can tell you is... That man there on the stage came up to me and said, Sell all the land you own to us. Morning Bell News knows exactly how to get the most use out of it. Then he passed me a large contract that already had Mrs. Kelly's signature. But when I politely declined, he tells me, So be it. Not like it matters. You subhumans will end up handing over all your land to us for free anyway. Well, yes, this madman is still said. just pointing the death ray at these puppies. Like he, like he's just going. He's like that the miraculous treatment. He's been standing Bell still there for like was nothing but a bald face. A good lie. two minutes. They were trying to use this town to suck up people's cash with some phony medical facility. Then they tried to push the hashtag Open RW movement so you'd sell your land for cheap. They wanted Rainy Woods to be the most hated place on earth. That's what all this ruckus was for? Woo! Scary stuff, huh? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this little country town is clean, peaceful. Frankly, it looks like your regular middle of nowhere town to me. What's all the photos Yet we took? Some big corporation spent Jeep. a ton of money trying to crush this town Jeep. using fake news. You're gonna let them get away with this? Your town might be next. Think about it. Any one of you suffer the same fate. It's time for us to rise up. Forget the hashtag open RW movement. Now it's hashtag save RW. Save Rainy Woods from fake news. Lobster! Well. Breaking news. Oh, I need to read things again. Not a cutscene anymore. Oops. Number one trending hashtag has just switched over to hashtag save RW. People all over the world are rising up and advocating to save Rainy Woods. Hmm. The masses are standing up to the hoaxes and monopolistic evil foisted upon them by those in power. Oh, okay. He's still going. It's been like 10 minutes. Tech team, what are you waiting for? Cut the cord, stop the stream. I said stop the stream. What? It's going to take time to shut everything down? You useless morons! Just pull the wires out! Right now! Nicholas! Either end this stupid laser beam party of yours right now, or get ready to defend yourself in court when I sue you to the moon and back! Just now well, they're like taking 5,000 photos and like, she, 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 she got it on burst too. I just need my experiment to succeed. If it succeeds, then everything will! Dr. Nicholas Anderson. That's it. I'm waiting for the, I'm right waiting here, for the choice. Right now, you're fired. <laughs> I'm waiting for the choice. Next I'm time curious. You see my face is in the courtroom. What? 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 Oh yeah. Uh uh the the, the news corporations throwing you That's under the for bus. You, tech idiots. Uh if you don't hard. want to end up the same way as him, then stop the damn stream and already. Morning Bell the is, is you throwing you Right under the, the bus, bus. That sounds really dangerous. And then getting in the bus, that and then backing it over you again. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for breaking it. The manual said to never stop a stream, even if you're getting flamed. 
All publicity is good publicity. So human. It was you. He bought you Paul's class. did this, didn't you? <laughs> content without my permission oh, oh nice yes good Blockhead. That subhuman over there has yet to pay off her debt. Now get over there and do your job! <sighs> nice. When that great lump kidnapped me, he said to me, he said, don't worry. The insanity this company's been up to will definitely catch up with him one day. And yet, he didn't help you lot out when you were trying to stop the insanity. Honestly, me, yeah, I love MB is just morning bell. Yes. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I assumed it was a reference or something. It, it was obviously pretty on the nose. This town scares me. Says the woman who brought the wrath of the internet mob on a massive news corporation. <laughs> don't Guess worry, they're right. not going to get any consequences. I know I didn't win, but the people of Rainy Woods did. Screw you! I'm going to get my army of lawyers and crush you like the tiny, insignificant, pathetic punk you are! Uh. Great work, Naomi. Just yeah, go for it, I guess. Me. Go for it, Queen. I'll email you later. See you in court, <sighs> bitch. This the part where we get the happily ever after? Or something. Lobster! We did it, yuppie. We kicked their freaking asses. You know, the first time I saw you, I had a feeling you'd rise up to kick some ass someday. But you also seemed like the ultimate chowderhead, so I wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. Should have known my intuition. So I'm guessing right is the is the choice the whether you go off and be a journalist I'm or stay in rainy woods? That with is that the choice? Face. Well, you've still got room for improvement. A whole yacht load of improvement. So I'm going to give you a little advice as your I mentor. Wonder, I wonder. The most important thing for you okay. to learn is how to walk away from all the assholes in the world. Otherwise, it, I don't just know. It seems like I would have more fun if I go off on adventures of him. Okay, okay. Go back to New York and stay. I want to go on adventures with Daniel, though. Can I go well, on adventures enough. with Daniel? <laughs> I want, that's what I want. celebrating right now. You, me, I want to go on weird adventures with this himbo. Did it. Hey, yuppie, what are you doing? Walking away from an asshole, just like you taught me. Later. Still hates him, though, even though I've been charmed by him thoroughly. I say, you give me a himbo, I'll, I'll go for it. Which is pretty much just like my my. It's my it's my like. That's all you need to impress me. <clears throat> Doctor Nicholas Anderson is an animal lover. One woman in her radical town renewal project. The world speaks out. You've gone too far this time. One freelance journalist and what she was able to accomplish. Dark rumors circulate. Animal welfare organization. Circulating animal welfare organ. 
directors of Morning Bell News resigned amidst allegations. Uh, let me know once I once I once I decide one way once I actually view one of the endings, then you can let me know. Uh, not recommended for the faint of heart. My trip to the infamous town of Rainy Woods. Because uh, if the choice is in between going to New York or staying in Rainy Woods, uh, then I'll probably just choose Rainy Woods, I guess. <laughs> An age in which video evidence means absolutely nothing. Major social media services delete all traces of wood skin. The more or less these guys got to cover their asses. Yeah, typical. Final scene. Is this really the ending you wanted? Who cares? Not like I started this job because I really wanted to. All right then, if you're fine with it, then so am I. Meanwhile, I'm gonna keep my eye on the whole hashtag save our W situation, see how it all pans out. Oh, fuck. I'll be seeing Sayonara to this town pretty soon. I mean, not like I'm gonna find anyone posting stuff about hashtag save our W here. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm still thinking. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. I'll just make your journey of self discovery. Make sure, make your journey. Make your journey of. Just make sure your journey of self discovery doesn't take your whole life. Life's a lot shorter than you may think of it. See ya. Later, chat ahead. Go so long, lobster. After the stream, Morning Bell News' stock price crashed. All of the management were prosecuted and resigned, with CEO Flora Kelly at the forefront. Well then. Meanwhile, Naomi signed a special contract with the new managers. As part of that, Morning Bell bought Naomi's Flamingo account for a hell of a lot of money. Well then. In return, Naomi announced to the world that the entire stream was all just a fiction of her creation. Ah, in the A agreement. I see. She claims she staged the broadcast in an attempt to revitalize the small town of Rainy Woods. And so, with Naomi's confession, the curtain was finally closed on the incident. At long last, kind of weird though, Naomi basically the scientist got off scot free, <laughs> but still okay. Had a nice amount left over from the sale. Obviously, such an admission meant she had to give up her role as a journalist. Complete. We got it. I'll go sit. Drinking this early in the day? Seems like you're really living the high life now, Naomi Hayworth. Good day. But beer simply doesn't fit your character. I can't think of anyone else who would look better drinking absinthe right now. Jeez. Okay, okay, just tell me what you want already. I came to thank you on behalf of the entire town. Everyone's grateful for what everyone's grateful for what you did. And as their representative, I feel it only suitable that I pass it on directly. Thank you so much for all your help. Seriously? Wait, hold on. I'm the one who caused all this trouble to begin with in the first place. Shouldn't be thanking me. I should still be apologizing. Are you mental? You aren't the only person Morning Bell News could have sent could have sent here. Indeed. They could have sent someone with class, education, someone smart, resilient, hardworking, accomplished, charismatic, quick-witted, or totally, or a totally unscrupulous person, for all we know. I guess you're right. Fuck you, but yeah. And you very well could have acted like a smart person had you wanted to, but you chose justice right up and right up to the very end. If it did happen to you, it did happen due to ephemeral happenstance, that's still enough for you to deserve our gratitude. Happenstance, huh? Who am I to say? Naomi Happenstance Hayward. Humans are just like poems. Something, something born from the miasma, purely out of coincidence. That is what we call poetry. That is what we call life. <laughs> Proud of that within something, you're able to find something good. You just never let up with the cheese, do ya? Now that you've had more of your share of compliments, Miss Halfwood drink. Where do you plan to go from here? Don't you think it's about time you took a step forward when it comes to taking back your life? Indeed. Exactly. Now that you're a person with means, you can't possibly spend all your days submerged in a pub. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just stuck on the ultimate decision. The ultimate decision? Yeah, the ultimate goddamn hellhole of decisions. That's right, Naomi. Just as you said, this is your ultimate decision. 
You've gained a lot while in this town. Even learned some things. But you've also lost a lot, haven't you? It's time for this tale to come to an end. But which decision, which ending is the right one? So, uh, donate all my mind to the, ca to the town or run back to... Uh... Ah! Ah! Okay, so A, donate all... A, uh, do the altruistic thing. B, do the not altruistic thing. I'm gonna go with A, if only because I think out of both possible routes. Again, don't tell me. Let me know once I've seen the scene. But I'm gonna say that if any of these routes is gonna actually tell me what actually happened with the murder of Elizabeth, potentially, it's gonna be the altruistic one, right? It's probably, they're probably gonna reward me for doing something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's hope. I don't know. Let's only pray and hope. Go with A. Yeah. All right, I made my decision. Because literally, what did we have in New York? Oh gosh. Wow, that's some fast credits, okay. They going. Those credits flew by, okay. Five days on from the stream, and hardly anyone was making posts using Hashtag save RW anymore. Though later, some occultish kind of groups could be seen using it for their own purposes. Their posts mostly revolved around Kurtana, the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood. These have got to be out of place artifacts, they'd say, although it rarely caught on. And when a hashtag save our W centric blog posted snippets from a Morning Bell News article, those small groups were completely snuffed out as well. In those Morning Bell snippets, it basically said that Kurtana, the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood could all be proven using more. By the way, science. I probably will actually be watching the scene. I'll probably if I'll see if I can find the other ending scene on YouTube. We might react to it live before we wrap up today. So all really those complete. occulty types couldn't rely on the hashtag to support their theories anymore. And they gradually moved on to hashtag lobster pose. Well. Is that it? All right, lads and ladies, raise your hand if you're not here. That's Good grief. How do you expect them to do that? Let's hurry up and get going already before my pies get Scene. cold. Let us begin this Animated celebratory cutscene. banquet at once. Voice acted. Kind of First, a round of applause for this town's new hero and the sponsor of this grand feast, Naomi Hayward. Well oh, yes, <laughs> I would ask for a toast, but before that, I have a very important announcement to make. Sorry, but once the drinking starts, no one will listen, especially our guest of honor. All of the money that Miss Hayward donated to our town will be used now and forever in protecting its secrets. And that's thanks to who the murderer was. That Naomi Hayward is now an honorary citizen of Rainy Woods. who the murderer Congrats, was. Miss honorary Whoa! citizen. Oh, I need to know. To do, Jane now then, on to the toast. Benedict, if you would please lead us. I need to know. We are gathered here today, and I really have only one thing left to say. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, they're not going to tell us in this one, are they? Uh, maybe they tell us in the other one? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait.
Is that Elizabeth? Is that Elizabeth? Looks like Elizabeth. And so Elizabeth. she became penniless that was Elizabeth. again. That was Elizabeth, but she was standing. <laughs> no more game. Put down the controller again. No more game. Oh, that's right. Dad broke again. I should have kept a little for myself instead of getting carried away and saying I donate it all. Naomi. It's a fact of life that money comes and goes. In the game. Having wealth can bring richness to life. But what if you come to rely on it, eh? Go sod it. Who cares? As long as you're happy. Right. That's me done, I suppose. This From here the on, the, the, the game. story is yours to tell. Whatever happens, though, Naomi, have a good life. It's the end of the game, Mike. <sighs> Let's see. Ugh. Chasing pointless gossip in the middle of nowhere. Maybe this is the career most suited for me. Oh, but Miss Naomi, do be careful not to drink too much. <gasps> what? You're... The last one left the special running shoes with you. May I take them? <gasps> you i knew that going to fancy and bunny was the right choice i feel like i could run a whole marathon in these but you you're okay so there was oh and you're free to keep using your house in rainy woods however you please it seems like everyone still has some favors to ask of you too and Perhaps there are even a few mysteries left for you to solve. That is, I can see it's like really off. I just hope you know you're free to stay in our town as long as it suits you. But, but I saw you. You... It wasn't a dream. Was yes, it? I was right. This one has the answers. Happiness is something that travels from person to person. And this is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. Does that make sense? What? Oh, fuck. Rainy Woods is the happiest town in the world? A happiness is something that travels from person to person? What does that even mean? Well, Elizabeth is some primordial eldritch horror that sucked the life force from that CEO. I think I can assume. Oh. I skip? I skip? I'll skip. What am I waiting for? Are right there? <laughs> oh. Uh oh, I need to do like the fairy ring line. Uh 
They tend to disappear. feel like you lost me. Um, Elizabeth is a fairy? I'm, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it was about what I expected, I guess. A lot of supernatural bullshit that would have been impossible to guess. Literally, that Elizabeth was alive was the last thing I ever could, I ever could have guessed. A sweary. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, just the, just the fairy, just the, okay. Elizabeth's some kind of fairy or something. Um, and uh, Grace traded her, traded her life for this nose or something or other. Um, still doesn't like, really explain. Um, who killed Elizabeth or? Yeah. Uh, I'll t I'll I'll take that link. Is it in the Discord? Does it explain more? Does it explain more in that one? Um, you know, it's, it's like a fairy reincarnation. She says the last one, like it, like she's Mach 2 or something. Um, the, other, the other one was, the other one had darker skin and, and red hair. Um, well, shit, I think we're done with the game. Got nothing else to do at this point. I'm not gonna bother to save this. I'm deleting this immediately. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I feel like my brain is broken. I'm not even sure. Let's watch the other ending. Maybe it'll bring more, maybe, maybe it'll bring more clarity here. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it was just weird. It was even weirder that it, like, the scientist is such a, it's, it's such a, like, it, Okay, yeah, uh... The, the game has a problem with staying. Has a problem with staying. Um... Oh my gosh, okay. I- I don't- I don't know. I don't know. The game- the game- the game is- the game is, like, weirdly unfocused. I- I- I don't- I don't think I like the- the last- that the ending climax has ostensibly nothing to do with what you're investigating. And it's instead just some random guy that's interested last minute um with like yeah no it's it's not the worst ending i could have imagined but i don't think it was uh i don't i don't think it was i don't think it was all that good either i'm pulling it up on i'm pulling up the the end the other ending on you right now give me a second i'm gonna see if it explains anything else it was a Gynax ending, is what it was. It was a Gynax ending. Um, I don't think any particular sense would have been worse. I don't think it tainted the experience of the game. Oh my gosh, it's a full twenty minutes. Um, let me let me skip toward. Let me let me skip to the to the part that. Uh, yeah, got skipped to about 15.30. Okay, let's see. It's time for this tale to come to an end. But which decision, which ending, is the right one? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we got here this time. Makes any more sense. Five days on from the stream, and hardly anyone was making posts using hashtag save to be out of place or oh. snuffed out as well. So all those are lobster. Same. Oh. Here we go. Take yeah, it right back baby. at you. Here's, here's to the new CEO, Miss Lucy Turner. CEO, Miss Lucy Turner. Hard for me to believe it's actually happened. But it doesn't feel real. Yeah, when you reach out, reach that or, or retire them. Point fuck, I can't. Okay. Hope that that's all this is. In any case, I promise. I'll, I, 
Go from evil, also protect the race. Okay. okay, you can read it. You can read it. You have eyes. You can read it. You can read it. I, I can't, I can't read it out loud that quickly. Okay. <laughs> See if there's yeah, anything different baby. here. Or if it's a, it looks like tears. <laughs> it, the fact that it's not voice acted to me says that it might be the non-canon. Oh, uh, William or something? It looks like William. Uh, you get you get some cool items, some cool expensive clothing items. Um. And so. She became penniless yet William, again. W William or something is, is looking at you. Looks like William. Uh, this is part of the same. Part's the same. Part's the same. Hope you know your... That was, well, that was pointless. I think I chose the better one because I chose the one that had more, more voice acting and stuff, but uh, that was pretty pointless. Um... Yeah, that was really pointless. <laughs> I like this joke. I like the yeah. Good. Um Okay, final thoughts. Final thoughts before we wrap it up. It's been like five hours. I'm tired. Um You're probably tired too. Uh the game is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um I think it's a more hmm. How do I say? I I think that I think that the writing kind of suffered for like a couple reasons. Uh, has a hard time with focus, doesn't really know how to craft a good mystery. Um, but in general, I think it also succeeds in a lot of ways. It, it, it succeeds in being a genuinely relaxing experience and, and being this weird, you know, and, and creating this weird, quirky little town with all these weird little characters. Most of the characters, I think, are genuinely charming. Um, uh, and uh, only sometimes, only occasionally did I feel like the tone was genuinely weird and out there um was generally out of place it was mostly just when things got uh really overly violent or implied uh violence that i wasn't expecting um otherwise a pretty quality experience um i it's it's just it's just one of those things where it's like a, a game that ostensibly presents itself as a mystery game refuses to solve its own mystery because we really don't know anything right we don't really know uh we we, we don't even really know how elizabeth died uh we don't know anything about we don't know shit about dip um in the end just that elizabeth is probably a supernatural being and that probably i mean that's that's like the main problem right it relies too much on supernatural shenanigans relies on too much like ah oh, you know it was magic don't worry about it you know who, who was running really fast who who where where the where the moss come from what's with the sword don't worry about any of it it's all magic and you couldn't have possibly guessed because literally sometimes it's the most random bullshit or literally characters that are introduced um as like at the very end of 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 the tw of the twist being figured out and it's like and and it's, it's one of the things where it's like, I think that just means that it's not the most satisfying main story campaign to go through. Even if it's fun, moment to moment, you kind of look back, kind of look back at it and it's like, well, as a whole, I don't think it quite, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it's a game that I think is not quite the sum of its parts, almost, but it has parts that are, it has little parts that I think are good enough that I think I could easily recommend it to, well, well like, I have a, I'd have a hard time recommending Psychonauts to anyone who's not just wanting to play it nostalgically um even though it's psychonauts is probably technically the better game i think i could recommend this pretty easy to someone who uh who's just here to like who maybe just likes harvest moon or animal crossing and who just wants a relaxing experience it's maybe a little a little quirky um but if you're here for the mystery don't bother <laughs> there's there's nothing here for you. um Literally, none of my questions, none of my theories, none of anything was ever answered one way or another. Um, so just based off of that, it's like, I was kind of disappointed. But 
again i can't even be that mad i'm like i'm like dumping on i'm like dunking on it but i think it was like a pretty good game at the end that i had a fun time playing you know i i i had a, I had a fun relaxing time as as nonsensical and as much of a non sequitur the end the 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 final chapter was i think i enjoyed it a lot actually fun fun random villain character all that all this wacky shit fun say other than just like i don't know a game doesn't have to be deep with a perfect story right look at detroit become human it's the story's a fucking mess but the game's fun so you have fun with it and you're just like whatever it's you, you have fun you enjoy your little you enjoy your little bit of content then you move on sometimes things are just allowed to be okay um none of anything is ever explained the sh the, the 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 town the rules of the 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 story has no internal logic whatsoever at all but it's like if you're just here for an animal crossing experience okay and once you get i i i would probably literally suggest to anyone who's here for har for for a harvest moon thing i would literally tell them play through the game Play through the main quest as quickly as possible, and then you can get to the farm simulator. That's what I tell them. Play through the main quest as quickly as possible, then get to the farm simulator and have your fun. Have your relaxing time. Have your little 30 minutes a day that you can sit back and chill a la Harvest. And then enjoy the wacky side. Enjoy the wacky side content, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah. Good recommendation though. I don't right I don't regret playing it at all. It was fun. But uh I think we're also done here. Five hours straight. Fuck that we've been for a game that was supposed to be like eleven hours. That's tough. Uh expect an announcement on Discord tonight or tomorrow about 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 the Sunday party. Get all your asses in Discord. Enjoy it. Um, but for now, tomorrow for an art stream. Hopefully it'll be shorter than this, which since I'm just doing black and white again this time. Um, let me know, I guess. Um, I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to get back to it. Uh, even if it answers some stuff at this point, it's like, eh, I, I don't expect enough from you and think that the answer might be sad. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just take it off as one more game finished. I do not have to look at again. So, yeah. Um, tomorrow. Ah. Thank you.